Uh, and like the Grange display is happening at some point. God only knows. Oh, but welcome to Stardew Valley, folks. I'm jumping right into the ding dang thing. I gotta water all my daggum plants. Take for damn ever. Yeah, I have to tell you. We were just talking about um, Yakuza 0. Yakuza 1. Those games make me very happy. Silly side quests. I love all the wackadoodle side quests in those games. Chill fools or you're going to be getting some grade F poop in your grill. There you go. That's what you got to that's what you got to do. You did what needed to be done, Mandy, and I I think everybody appreciates that, especially when you're looking out for a team. Very important. Cuz some folks, some folks are new to industries and they don't feel comfortable setting a line or they don't feel heard when they draw a line, you know. They don't feel like they have the power to do so. So for somebody who's like established in the industry or somebody who's their senior, like a senior worker, it's important. Nobody wants poop in their grill unless you want one, I guess. And I'm like, you know, I'll go off, I guess. Sure, it's somebody something. Yeah. Nah. You're an okay boss when you want to be. There you go. Let's see. I got a lot of crap in my inventory. I can't even pick up any ding dang eggs. I'm glad that so far, unless they added this with the Stardew Valley update, your chickens don't get like stressed to the point where they can't like lay eggs or whatever. Store these warp totems. It will take you to the beach. Which, if I want to just straight away get to the beach and go fishing one day, that's a great resource to have. I'm pretty sure I got these in my original save file and I never used them. I was like, I need to save that for an important day. The day never came. I can guarantee you that. Just like any like mega elixir in Pokemon or whatever, I'm like, oh yeah, I need to make sure I hold on to that for the most opportune moment. And then I beat the Elite Four and I'm like, oh, there never was a better time. And I think that says something about life. I've been hearing this statement a lot. Oh, there's an egg in front of me. Okay, that's why I couldn't move. I don't know why, but it keeps getting echoed back to me. I just keep hearing like folks say in some iteration that like life is about the now. It's about like living it in the moment. I don't know why, but like music I'm listening to was saying that and podcasts I'm listening to was saying that. It's really weird that I keep hearing it echoed to me. So I'm like, okay, I guess I need to think about this idea a little bit more. The cos yeah, the cosmos. I can feel it, the cosmos. You just become the little girl from um Katamari Damacy. I guess that means my whole family's gonna be rolled up into a Katamari. Which, you know what? I'm down for that. Sure, turn me into star, shoot me into space. Can't be any worse. Might be better. Yeah, I just keep hearing that, 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 that phrase echoed in like two or three other things I've been listening to. Very odd. Nyx is going to come up in this game, and then I'm just going to get up and have to take a few, like, a lap around the house before I come back. Oh, man, I'm sure next time I draw a card, too, it'll be that. Alrighty, so we have some cool eggplants. How exciting. Which is also, as many of you know, the code word for help in this channel. So, so many of you just got, like, a rush, I'm sure. Like, <gasps> finally! You've been using eggs wrong the whole time. You're supposed to drink them. God, how did you know that? Oh boy, we have a little sapling issue around here. Scrubby little saps. Don't want setting up home around here. Let me check it on the cows. Let me put my scythe away too, because that'll be an issue. Good morning, ladies. Are you milkable? Yes. No. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry I just walked up to you and felt you up, lady. That's inappropriate. Poor cow. 
Me in a week? Why am I going to do that in a week? Why am I going to be screaming in a week? Oh, are you talking about what I'm playing next week? For a uh, new year, new game every day? New game every Thursday? Um, I didn't know that freaking Signalis was spooky. Is it? Is it really scary, Manny? How scary is it? <gasps> hey, I have a damn recycling machine. I'm not recycling a damn thing. Let me get into that. I built this thing like two weeks ago in game. And I haven't used it. That's on me. I got trash for days, baby. Literal, actual trash sludge right here. Your advice going, uh, against going up to ladies and asking them if they're milkable unless you know they're really wrong. <laughs> Next TwitchCon, that's what I'll do. Go up to all my friends. Excuse me, are you milkable? That would be such a weird vibe. Oh my god. Regardless of gender, I think that would be a weird vibe to set. Well, when you say it like that, Alex, good to see you, by the way. When you say it like that, Alex, it sounds like kind of like establishing, like, you know, like, oh, how are you feeling today, ladies? Which ones of you want to, you know, get down with this business? And, uh, you know, we'll put it on the calendar. All right, I got the whole ding dang day ahead of me. Oh, I got to water the baby. Baby watering time. Hope you're enjoying your lunch break, Alex. Oops, that doesn't help. Morning, kitty cat. Man, the world is my oyster. Let me see what we need. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's why I'm growing eggplants. I'm pretty sure I bought pumpkins and uh, yams. So I think we're good on that. No, we need quality pumpkins. Okay. I might just get some high quality fertilizer. Might get the high quality fur first. And then throw that down and grow a few more pumpkins, honestly. Keeping one eggplant for putting in the thingy. Where's my mayonnaise? There's my mayonnaise. I might sell some dry common mushrooms. Why not? Gotta make boundaries clear. It's good to check in on those boundaries daily. Exactly. Exactly, Alex. Yeah, I need that koala tea, indeed. Now, do I need this or anything else? Yes, I do. The oak resin. Made for the fodder. It's for the enchanté bundle. Okay. Okay, do we? Do you need some maple syrup? Oh, which I have! Let's do a little community work. Let me buy some stuff from Pierre before he closes his doors. And then I'll do some community work. We'll take ourselves into town for a second. Oh, little creature up there. Hmm. I, is it winter one where I get to see Mr. Krobus? What's up, you jerkus? How many bee houses on your farm? If you place some of your flowers, you can get different types of honey. Dang, how about that? Oh, that is good to know. Oh, yes, Pierre. Thank you, Alice, for reminding me to drink some water. Good idea. I didn't drink enough water today. I think I might bring up the next uh, water I bring up. I think I'll put some of my um, hydration stuff in. Can you believe it's already September, y'all? Already? I've been doing New Year, New Game every Thursday for nine months now. Uh, just about. That is kind of bonkers. We've had a lot of Thursdays of games. Oh, I kept right-clicking him. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to buy ten pumpkin seeds. And where's that foidalizer? Oh, that's a basic. Is that good enough? Did I, do I have something that helps me make real world good fertilizer? Sap and fish? I could just be doing this my damn self! Why am I buying it from Pierre? Let me sell this back to you. I could do it my damn self. Let me go catch some fish. 
Okay, hold up. Um, you have the opportunity to shadow your teacher tomorrow. The only downside is you have to be at up at 3 a.m. So you can eat and get ready to leave by 3.45 to 4 a.m. That's a cool opportunity, Zelda. So the ad break starts soon, folks. And Dark Star Slayer, so good to see you. Time has flown by. Darn it. I'll read the rest of your message when the ad break ends, Dark Star Slayer, in case you can't hear me. Time does fly like a banana, I suppose. It's a good banana, by the way. You don't like how fast time goes now that you're old? I know! It's wild, Mash. Seriously. With all the... Especially lately, with all the, like, events, guest visits, doctor's appointments, it really feels like March was last month. It feels like March was last month. It's been a while since March. It doesn't seem to slow down. And you know we're getting into busy season, too, with all the holidays. So, time is going to be taken up by me preparing for Halloween and my brother's birthday. Then the whole month of preparing for Thanksgiving and doing fun little Thanksgiving things. And then Christmas and Christmas things. And then... <sighs> the pandemic did feel like 10 years, but also... Like the beginning of the pandemic, you mean like 2020? That felt like forever. Because any kind of interruption to routine feels like that. Like, I also feel that way, Larry, when, like, there's an emergency room visit, you know, emergency surgery or something like that. That that week always feels like a month, you know. I think that sounds like a good idea, Zelda. Getting some caffeine in you, for sure. Okay. think we're back from the ad break. So... Dark Star Slayer, you had said time has flown by. You joined Twitch two months ago, and you've learned a lot in that little time. Yeah, you got to learn all the etiquette and stuff like that. I'm sure that is. I mean, it's an education for sure, Dark Star Slayer. For sure. Remember sitting at your desk for work, thinking you'd just be back to work in a couple months anyway. Oh yeah, interesting. How about that, Larry? Wow. We also have... Hmm, it's another bundle that needs this. Ooh, I did some syrup. Here we are. Boom. Still need three more things. They don't play around with a chef's bundle. I don't have a freaking kitchen, though. So, now I need to just catch fish for me. But I also need to get this crap out of my inventory. Time is constant. Yeah, how we process it changes. True. Can you believe your finals are already this upcoming week? I know! Feels like yesterday you were like, so I'm starting this program. It just feels like yesterday. Is that a grass stain on your knee? Sorry, I'm like allergic to grass. Okay, are you allergic to eggplants though? Is that rude? That's rude. I shouldn't just give a woman an eggplant. You like sunflowers though? Wow, they're beautiful. These are my absolute favorite. Don't give a woman an eggplant, give her flowers. If I can impress that upon you. It's not bad, though. You were into video game plays as a teen. You always wanted to play. But then you discovered other streamers. Yes. Isn't that amazing? That, that I feel like that's a lot of people's um, gateway into Twitch. You know? Hey, Tyler. I'm doing good. I'm tired. Um, I just finished hanging out with uh, all my dad's best friends from college and school and all that stuff, so. I'm not gonna eat the hazelnut, so I'll pick up this one. I can, if I... So it was great hanging out with them and chatting with them and everything, uh, but I have to go from one social activity to the next. Yeah, she could be hungry for egg parmesan, true. Very true. I swear to God I can put these away. Let me sell this thing. Sell some of this junk. I'm sure I'm going to eat carrots at some point. But you know what? I'm a big girl. Yeah, I can sell carrots. Let's try to catch some fish. Oh, cool. Rocks. See, isn't that great? You throw some trash in here, you get some rocks out of it. Amazing. How are the boys? They were great. It was really cool. You know, they're all they're all great gentlemen. So you mainly want an excuse to refer to a group of dudes as the boys. Yeah. Uh... It was really wonderful, and my dad had such a great time, and I had a great time. I got plenty of great hugs uh, from all his best buds and stuff. So, 
And we got to talk about baseball, which was very fun. I love any opportunity to talk about baseball. They were trying to remember the name of the guy. I brought my O's hat with me because I was going to go outside and play with the dog. Um, and uh, they were talking about the Iron Birds and they were trying to remember the name of the Orioles affiliates. And I'm like, oh, yeah, the Bowie Bay Sox and uh, this, this and that. <laughs> and they're like, oh, OK, so you're really into it. All right. So, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And uh, we had a moment uh, while my dad was in the restroom and I was just talking to all his pals and stuff. And they thanked me for all the hard work I'm doing. Uh, and my Uncle Phil, he was getting very teary-eyed. So, uh, And I was like, no, Uncle Phil, you're going to make me cry. But they were all expressing their gratitude for, for all that stuff. So it's very kind, very sweet. I wanted the boys, yeah. It was cool. I got to learn. <laughs> I got to learn a lot about my dad and my uncles. All the all the cool college days. They were reminding each other of like fun things that they did uh, growing up and stuff, you know, in college. <laughs> all the weed that they smoked, uh, allegedly. That's a joke for purposes, in case that's not legal in their states. That's a, that's his entertainment. This is a joke that I tell for entertainment for my community. Oh. Blast. Yeah, the rowdy days. They were pretty rowdy. And they were all saying how their kids don't do any of that stuff. They hardly drink. They don't smoke. They don't do anything like that. And I was like, maybe it skips a generation because I don't do that stuff either. This is a feisty fish. I get my eyes on the prize here. My eyes are getting so damn dry. Keeping it on the prize. I'm gonna miss this fish. This damn fish. You assume it was legal in the past because everyone you know smoked weed in the past, right? <laughs> you gotta love Uncle Phil and his pillowy mounds of mashed potatoes. Different Phil. Yeah, different Phil. Uh, you don't think they prosecute people for smoking weed 70 years ago in college? You never know. I don't know. Maybe they're looking for a reason to take down my Uncle Phil. It was just less heavily enforced, I'm sure. But you you would think otherwise, because, like, I feel like that's when the war on drugs started. Oh, this is it. I nailed it. I have nailed it. I'm right in it right here and i'm gonna get a good fish you better not be a squirrely fish i don't want any squirrely fish i want easy fish i can turn into fertilizer you almost got me there a little far out i think this could be okay so the movie reefer madness it is bad is that so that helps inform your decision there <sighs> Oh, the war on drugs are in the 70s. I mean, I think that's about the time that they were doing it. You know? My dad is 70. So I think back in the 70s, he was in his 20s. It made weed look good? <laughs> really? That was sarcasm. I figured, Larry. Yeah. I think that might be one of the movies they covered on, like, Mystery Science Theater 2000 as well. Come on, give me that fish. Okay, thank you. That, that's, I asked the universe and I received. There we go. Just another dang chub. Okay. Getting a lot of solid quality chubs. It's like a party and everybody's losing it. And they're having fun. That's great. I'm glad it wasn't like somebody's having like a really bad trip and yada yada yada. When you weed, you click on YouTube or you read Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, I think that's usually what folks do now. Oh, my Uncle Phil. This is another story for Cart. Um, I'll just say uh, my Uncle Bill. This is a different uncle. Said, and this one's also for comedic purposes. He, um was trying out the new weeds that they do these days. The the ones that the kids are smoking and stuff. It said he had to lay down on the couch for about three hours. Um, 
at at, because he was at some sort of uh college shindig for his daughter now that's not the soil i wants to make oh i need sap i see <laughs> yeah and he's like it's wild the stuff they're making these days is wild i feel is salmon important no okay so crafting time hell yeah i'll take eight of those why not? Okay, now I have to water these damn things. Should have done a cake stand and said, I guess. Imagine what we'd all be doing at our ages right now if it was the 70s. I know, right, Dragster Slayer? What the hell would I... I'd be writing a lot, I think. But certainly not playing video games. Oh, actually, my dad did say that um, he had Pong. He had like a little Atari thing back in the day and everyone came over to his house and played it and he was like the king of the dorm because he had an Atari and nobody else did. He was like the king. Your Uncle Phil has stories where he scatters some seeds in the woods and then just comes back. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff they were doing back in the day. You got nutrient mixes and magnifying glasses. You got the fans. You got the lights. You got the little jackets and stuff. You would have a harder time accessing the internet, I bet. What's up, party? How are you? Yeah, that's what they would do back in the day, but nowadays you can't get away with that. But nowadays they have, like, wacky strains that are like, this one's called Spongebob's Butt Cheeks, because it's really square. You know, or something like that. And back in the day it was like, this is marijuana. Do you want to smoke it? <laughs> that's what they would do about it what's this one called i don't know weed man i could have the latest technological marvel true the vcr i mean i would probably be doing what my mom was doing which was making like a several hundred cassette deep uh vhs collection of all the shows i thought was important Hello, Pastel. Good to see you. It is indeed Farming Friday. I don't know how you forgot, but you remembered right in time and you're here. You might be married with kids already. You're in your mid-20s. Thank goodness. Yeah, that expectation is largely pushed back. Some folks still feel that pressure, you know? Dark Star Slayer. And for some folks, it works out for them. Like, I know some folks who got married young and they're very happy and stuff. Uh, my apple tree was not able to grow last night. I'll kill someone. It's not rain tomorrow. I said VHS, yeah. I mean, de I, if I could listen to Chapel Roan, not this freaking crow, what did you do? Okay, I might have to move my man. I think he should be maybe like a little closer to the stuff I actually care about. Can I put him here? That crow means that they ate up some of my stuff that I care about. I could record her VMA performance. Uh, if I was a time traveler, I suppose I could do that, definitely. What if I took her VMA performance back in time on VHS and I was like, this is the future. Prepare. Something amazing is going to happen. Oh, we got blackberry jelly. How delicious. We have some pine tar. How delicious. People would lose it. Oh my god. I think they would actually lose their minds. <gasps> I didn't give it the egg. Oh, crumbs. I hope I get an eggplant in time. I want to see. Do I need like... Oh, crumbs and pine tar. Okay, no. I know, yeah. Madonna's manager would call her up and be like, you gotta get it. Somebody's maybe copying you, but also... We gotta, we gotta organize. Madonna, we need you to be doing something like this. Because it's amazing. Store this bomb. I have a feeling I might be getting more in the future. And I do want to store this quartz as well. Maybe I can keep my refined nuggets around. I gotta process a load of trash. I mean, I already have trash to process. <laughs> Oh, 
try. First yawn of the day. Terrible sorry. Let's make some blueberry jelly this time. I think this is all blackberry jelly, which sounds delicious. It's funny when musicians get litigious, right? Yeah. I, I don't think Madonna would at this point be like, how dare you? How dare you put on a, a bra and parade around forever? You know, I don't think Madonna would be doing that now. But sometimes musicians do get up in arms. Let's grab some blueberries. Well, especially when you think of like Vanilla Ice versus um, Queen for Under Pressure. Oh my god, I know, Pastel. It's just been a long everything. It's just been long. All right, time to water all my goodies. Although we're kind of out of water. I'm sorry I made you yawn. I'm sorry. I wish I didn't have to. It's the music business business, yeah. Back in the classical era, it was considered an honor when a musician caught another. But they also, yeah, they didn't have royalties. They have to worry about all that. They're like, oh, you thought my music was good? Hell yeah. Because, like, I don't know, some other rich person is just going to employ that person instead. It is a great reason to look at that cute-ass mouse. Exactly. And I got some more trash for you. Yeah. Love it to just get different trash. I'm putting in uh, different items from the same trash. I'm putting in different things. Oh, I think this apple tree's not grown because I got stuff here. I think this is too close. Meh. I'm not going to get any apples this month. So. We have to wait until fall, too, to get some appies. Yes! Don't you love that? He, like, kind of smacks... I was like, can you make it so that Tiny kind of goes like... When he's done yawning. When, uh, when they're done yawning. And Adamic is like, problem. My Hapsburg patron says he wants his money back. He didn't know anybody else could play those chords. How dare you? Yeah, I think they were just happy to have live music. Something something at the parties to... I mean, oh, can y'all imagine? Can you imagine how silent those homes must have been? No fans. Like, when the power goes out, it's so eerie in the house because there's no fans, there's no nothing. It's creepy. So, I, I can't even begin to imagine. I would have to start inventing music. I get a little, like, to little bit. Transy, how Hello! And thank you for inviting me to drink some water. You have a chamber orchestra follow you around, so there's never any silence. That's very dramatic. Oh, I should pause. Mm-hmm. When the power goes out, it's so weird. Like... I'll run my, my phone battery dead just to have something going on in the background. Mmm, Braca Waka. Waka. <gasps> I think we should reset the day. <laughs> so I just took an axe to my broccoli instead of watering it. Try that one again. Let's just give that one a shot. <laughs> another, another, another swing of this one. <sighs> also, some more trash. A little too easy for me to do that. <laughs> You're a broccoli hater. I can't even imagine that lifestyle. It's so foreign to me. I love broccoli. Love how weird and smelly it is. I think it's a gift from science. I would say from the gods or from Mother Nature, but it is human. Humankind who has crafted it to be so. Grab some blueberries. Drop off the sap. Let me 
just do that real quick as well. And let me pull this to this so that I don't accidentally do that to myself. Yeah. You gotta go make some money. Okay, good luck at your shift. Thank you for coming by, Pastel. Maybe we'll see you again later. We'll be cheering from you. Excuse me. You should put it in stir fry a lot. Do you have to be careful, yeah? What do you gotta be careful about with broccoli? Maxwell doesn't even eat any broccoli and somehow he's the worst broccoli farts. Oh yeah, the creatures can get some stank broccoli farts. It smells like you burnt broccoli sometimes, Estella. It is it is truly hag it, it makes me haggard. Every time you pick them up. Yeah, sometimes cats do a little stinky. Sometimes it lets you know that, like, um, one of my old cats I had when I was a kid. If you picked him up and he didn't want to be picked up, he would give you a little of a stink spray. He would skunk you a bit. Oh, yeah, true. The little broccoli florets, the little fiber stuff, that'll soak up all the juicy puddings. Then you end up having to, like, um... You have to put like almost too much in. Yeah, if you put in sesame seed oil and then you bite into that, it's like a sponge. Yeah, that can be really intense. Cats will put their finger right up to your nose though. Yeah, they and they don't even give a dang. They'll do it. Just to do it. Yes, Galaxy Geek! We got some new emotes by Doe Madness, aka Dominic. He's doing a freaking amazing job. Uh, we are going to be getting, let's see, we have six. We'll be getting 11 more emotes from Do Madness. Thrilled. So excited. Can't wait to see more. I'm losing it. Every time I see the emotes, I'm screaming internally. 11 more, yeah. And then, um, hopefully, uh, I'll see how Maureen's doing. Maureen might be pretty busy this season. It might be like convention season. So I can't water? Oh, I'm not selecting water. Okay. Uh, so Maureen might be a bit busy, but I hope to get a schedule going with Maureen so we can find out when the uh, the emotes that um, she's working on are coming through. Oh yeah, I I found Twitch because um, my friend was watching the Achievement Hunters, and she was like, "Hey, one of these Achievement Hunter folks is going from YouTube to Twitch. She want to like watch the stream?" And I was like, "Okay, you want it?" Because I watched a lot of YouTube stuff. Um, I would watch like Game Grumps and things like that. Mostly with my brother, but it was just sort of like a comfort thing, you know, just sort of like put that on and grade papers or whatever. Uh, and so like came over on Twitch, I made my account that day, which was of course 420, because that's a funny number. And, uh, enjoyed the stream and was like, okay, who else is on this big old website? Found more folks. I really enjoy the community aspect of a Dark Star Slayer. So I was always trying to look for folks who had like a fun chat. You know, folks you could like talk to and find out about their day, you know. It was just a good way to not think about, I don't know, the horrors of life. <laughs> All the work one has to do. It's nice to just peek into other people's life and be like, what's going on over here? Food, dinner. Welcome back, and thank you so much for the 25 months. How would you like to celebrate your resub food dinner? And also, hope you're enjoying the new six emotes that we have. You started watching Twitch because you'd watch Day 9's casts on Justin TV. I think Manny had said earlier that Manny started off with Salty Bets or something like that. So there you go. That's my origin story. Dealer's Choice. Well, I did just bust out the 101 Ways to Praise Kids food dinners. Let me see if I can find some rare ones. Ooh, you are a winner, food dinner. And also, you're dynamite. I get dynamite a lot. Maybe one more. Outstanding performance. I mean, that was the most spectacular resub I have seen in the last hour, I think. I gotcha. The community aspect is what got you to. Back in high school, you used to watch Yogg's Cast. Gotcha. I think I've heard of Yogg's Cast. I think that's a British thing. Maybe? I'm not really sure, though. So I think they're on at like different times. Um, so I never got to see them because of the hours they were on. I think that's like a group of folks, right? 
You watch a bunch of Yogg people. So, is it about yogurt? They are extremely British, as I thought. Are they still going? Still doing the thing? Realize Ewan's pin message disappeared. The default for pins is to disappear after 15 minutes. You copy his original message if you want to repin it and set it to all stay all stream. Hmm. I did notice that as well earlier, to be fair. Uh, we can do that if you'd like. I don't know. How do y'all feel about having a pin message up there? I don't want to bug anybody. You know me, though. That's my thing. They have a few Americans. Lewis and Simon, the founders, are like millionaires. Wow. How about that? So I guess they're probably not streaming right now. They're probably just enjoying the fruits of their labor. What isn't about yogurt? I think life is about yogurt. So. Got some eggies in here. Now I've watered all my plants and I didn't kill my broccoli this time. Let me take in all the cows and see if they're ready. Oh my gosh, so the founders are still streaming? Wild. Good morning. Okay, that's understandable. Sorry, I keep going around to you ladies and bugging you. The Jingle Jam, that's how I heard about Yogg's cast. <coughs> um, one of the streamers that I know, Ratters, I believe was participating in Yogg's cast. I was like, oh, interesting. What is Yogg? Life is tangentially about yogurt, but it's really more about gut health. Yes. Don't eat the red mushroom. That could kill me. Let's dehydrate some mushrooms. Ratters is a yaw gotcha. Yeah, I, I, I remember it when Ratters, like, maybe first did a Jingle Jam thing many years back. I was like, oh, cool. The hell is this? They're jingling. Link is growing poison. You know Link would absolutely accidentally eat a poisonous mushroom. It's just kind of it's just kind of par for the course. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Ewan, for doing that. Now it's here until the end of the stream. Okay, uh, if it bugs anybody, let me know. Here we go. Okay. Maybe we could do some more fishing. Let me go to the ocean. Wait, did I save an eggplant? Oh, I have one of those. Okay. Sold my other one. Yeah, Link would definitely eat a poisonous mushroom. It would be a problem. Definitely Breath of the Water Cheers the Kingdom Link. Oh, that's what these damn statues are for. That's what you can teleport. Yo, broccoli seeds. That's pretty lucky. <laughs> That's great, Manny. I, you know that Tiny would applaud my my downfall. And a giant starfish. Have fun. I have a lot of wood. I'm gonna use 300 pieces of it to fix this ding dang thing. And also, the ad break starts in about 40 seconds, folks. Just so you know. So if you don't have these cute little tiny emotes. Or you don't have Twitch Turbo. You might be seeing an ad coming up soon. 300 wood, I know. Decimated. Gone. Out my wallet. Immediately. That's okay. So the community. Uh, now that I've repaired this. Yeah, it looks like about two. Like, did we get a bunch of toothpicks together and build a bridge out of it? Because why is it 300? But up here is where the old fisherman comes. And he's like... Do you want to buy a cursed necklace? And I'm like, why would I do that, of course. And then anyone you give it to marries you. But then... Dredge happens. Obviously. Yeah, why isn't BTTV making Tiny Wide? They may not know what to do with the animated email, I'm not sure. This is a fun pier. You could really come here on school days to get away from the teachers, but I don't know if they have teachers around here. Yeah, a crossover for sure. Definitely, like, it's kind of weird that an old fisherman only shows up on days where it rains and is like, do you want a wife? I'm like, uh, I guess? 
And then the fog rolls in and it never leaves and strange fish start showing up. I wish they'd have a crossover and have some like mutant fish in this game. A mutant chub. And it looks a little wienery. I wish I was saying that when the ad break is running so that folks wouldn't hear it. <laughs> but now you've all heard it. You're not farming, but you're working. So you want to say hi. Hi, Majin Sean. Good to see you. You both turn to fish people and swim off to worship Dagon. Yeah, there you go. And you live a happy life. What if you turn into a fish person and you went into the sea, but it was basically just still Stardew Valley down there? So it was like mer people. And you had mer cows. And like mer chickens and mer broccoli. Yeah, you do have to ask. Don't just walk up to Haley and be like, do you want this mutant chub? You do have to you have to be like, are you what kind of mood are you in right now? Cause I got something weird. I damn, I want this crossover so bad. Cause you know Dimitri would be all about it. He'd be like, something going on here. I think he'd go mad. I think he'd be like investigating all this this wild fishery business. And uh, end up exposing himself to like the words and ways of the deep. And start hearing the voices calling to him. And Robin would be like, he never comes back from the docks. He just looks into the water. And you know what would affect uh, that emo boy, Sebastian, too? Because he's always out here on the deck, the dock smoking a cigarette, you know. So he'd start to hear the siren song. And she's like, not my husband and my son. I guess I've been catching a little too many fish, huh? <gasps> oh, I thought this was a fisher meal. But I do have sea jelly and river jelly. Okay, let me eat some of this weird jellies. Chomps. He keeps whispering a language I don't understand when he thinks I'm not listening, yeah. He's got a weird rash that's got eyes in it. There's like too many holes. Sounds like a Lovecraftian short story in the making. Oh, yeah, of course. Got an Eldritch short story. You gotta have that. But it's gotta be Stardew. So it's gotta be pixelated. And there has to be this the spring dance and the fall grange display. All this doesn't overwrite my fish powers. No! Well, we found out, didn't we? It overwrote my damn fish powers. Starview Galley. Love it. And you start seeing stars in the sea. Or you look up to the sky and they start dripping. The dew from the stars collects the points and drops down into your eyes. And then you really see. Then you really understand. I gotta go back home. You have to check a couple boxes and read a whole thing to enable it. Yes. Yeah, they couldn't just patch that one in. They couldn't sneak that one in. I think they'd have to tell you. I guess I gotta start working on the mod for this game that makes it dredge. Everybody in town just starts getting, like... Haley starts, uh, Haley starts asking for weird things. She's like... You know what's, like, so in fashion? Rats. They're so delicious. I mean, they're so cute. I need you to bring me three rats. You can find them in the sewers. I don't want to go there because it's like super gross. And then you give it to her and you can hear this like bone crunching sound when you walk by her house. And that girl that's eating the amethysts is eating more damn amethysts. Like, oh, okay. Why are your teeth like that? It's like I have to eat it, you know? I have to eat it. <laughs> like, who's not eating amethyst? It's like, most people are not eating amethyst. She's like, it's got what I need. And it's got what he needs. And she like starts patting her belly and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, rats are a delicacy in the capital. You wouldn't know. You've never been to like Pelican City before, have you? Because you're just like a farmer bumpkin. Oh, I, I want to put some trash in the machine. 
Let me get my my mayonnaise out of the way though. I wish this was real. <laughs> I wish my terrible scary idea was real. I'm sorry, everybody. So let me get back to cozy thoughts. We should do that. Now I know some of the stuff I do need. So the urchin I need for the thingy. Gunther needs this. I can sell the coral because I don't need that. And then uh, the sardinias. I do need to grab the sap for that. Back to being cozy. Let's make more quality fertilizer. I probably could have sold those chubs for more, but I don't care. I'm not really doing this to be optimal. I'm having fun. So let's sell this coral too. <gasps> I can plant my broccoli seeds though. That's gonna be great. Hey, and let me put down some of this fertilizer for the broccoli for sure. Excellent. Brock, brock, brock. Water, water, water. Hello there, Strawberry Hat. How are you? Imagine Abby appearing in the mines at midnight. Yes. Yes, absolutely, Strawberry Hat. There's like a random chance that Abigail appears in the mines and she looks at you and you realize that her eyes are bleeding, but her eyes aren't there. It's just two rocks that she's mashed into the holes. She wanted to see the stars. Anyway. Then you gotta do a whole chase scene and escape from her and the elevator doesn't work because she cut the cord to the shaft. So you gotta run up and she's like climbing on all fours. Fighting at your heels saying, give me the rocks, give me the rocks. You gotta trap her in the mines. Pierre gets upset. He's like, where's my daughter? And then you're like, do I tell him? You get a dialogue option. Tell Pierre. Damn, my damn apple tree wasn't able to damn grow last night. It's driving me nuts. And then you tell him. And then he's never open. Who's that? What? Edda's go- I don't even know who Edda is. There's a random appearance of a ghost in 14. That's cool. I know you're like pretty busy. Could I actually write this mod? Maybe someday. Hey, we have yams! Oh, I do love good sweet potato. Would you look at that, Tyrannus? It's Le Bouton o'clock. Tyrannus, thank you for the 88 months. That is wild. How would you like to celebrate, Tyrannus? She can be in cities hiding. I, who is Edda? It's a lot of months. It's a lot of months. What are your options? Oh, we got 101 Ways to Raise Kids. We've got my new favorite deck, which is the Woodland Wardens, um, which has got little creatures, little coyotes and wolves and snakes and bunny rabbits and different flowers and stuff in it. Got the um, Whispers of the Ocean. You want the Woodland Wardens? I figured you would. They're so cool. I my mom loved this deck so much, Trinus, that I bought her one. And uh Um she pulls a card every day. So Yes, I think at 88 miles an hour you can go back to the future. So tell us what the future's like now that you're at 88. Edda is, I think, mostly from side quests. Do you want to know about Edda? Well, I guess she dies. She's she dies or is maybe dead. Um, uh, are they fun? Do you think I would like to do them, Twafo? Or is it like, is it from the man who's got those cartoony faces? You know him. The anime guy who was like, I have to do this in order to get the final weapons. I know a little bit. I haven't, I don't think I've seen that movie, but it's in the public conscious enough that I'm aware of it. Okay. You know what? We get this one a lot. And I swear to God, I shuffle all to hell and back. I'm going to give you a second one as well. I'm pu pulling this one from the bottom of the deck. Um, but folks get this one very often, Tyrannus. So I'm going to give you two. It's not a miracle quest. You post the video on the Final Fantasy XIV channel. Okay. Well, you drew the turtle and the coriander in reverse. I'll show you it right side up. 
what Uranus. So the turtle and the coriander. Start with that. You also drew the spider and the passion flower. I'll put my thumb over the spider in case folks are afraid of spiders. So you can just see the passion flowers instead. Um, but starting off the turtle. It's card 31. Let's see here. There we go. Okay. Turtle and coriander calls on us to be satisfied with what we have been given or what we have achieved. This is about celebrating, not being like, be grateful, damn it. It's like, oh wait, I did that. Let me look back on the stuff that I did and acknowledge that I did that, you know? It invites a moment of rest or and reflection. Perhaps due to Aesop's fable, the tortoise and the hare, turtles are symptoms, uh, symbols excuse me, of patience and good health. In the folktale, the slow but determined tortoise wins its race against a speedy but distracted rabbit. The turtle triumphs by pacing himself, illustrating the adage, slow and steady wins the race. Similarly, in the Victorian language of flowers, coriander indicates concealed worth, reminding us that things may not always be as they appear. In other words, a dedicated tortoise who puts in the work can achieve just as much, if not more, than the swiftest rabbit. So because you drew this in reverse, Tyrannus... It says, beware of stagnation. While slow and steady wins the race, standing still gets you nowhere. So, do you take things slowly, one step at a time, but start stepping, basically. So your questions for this month are, what in my life brings me satisfaction? Have I taken time to express gratitude for what I have? And am I rushing things or honoring my own pace? Now, I'll show you the spider and the passion flower briefly, but I can't, like, hold it up the whole time because it does have a spider on it. I don't want to creep people out. So I'm, I'm putting my finger over the spider so you don't have to see it, everybody. But there's a spider on this one. It's called the Spider and the Passion Flower. And you drew it right side up and it's about creative ingenuity. Okay. So for Edda, by the way, Twafo, you think you meet her briefly in the main story quest really early on, but the rest of the quest is... Oh yeah, the Palace of the Dead, which is an endless dungeon. I have heard about the Palace of the Dead. Oh, it's such a good deck. It's so good. The, the illustrations are incredible. So, I haven't drawn this one before. It says, spiders represent a balance of light and dark. Cunning yet patient, they spin intricate webs that are both beautiful and deadly. The passion flower is a vining flower that has come to symbolize faith. It was named by a 16th century Jesuit missionary who associated the plant with the passion of Christ. Its filaments represent the crown of thorns, its uh, ten petals, the ten faithful apostles, and so on. Somebody really looked at this flower and was like, just like the big J man. This flower reminds me of Jesus. That's, that's wild. That's hyperfixation right there, let me tell you. Uh, since you drew it upright, it says you can solve your problems unconventionally and with cleverness. Um, you need only exercise patience in order to fully appreciate the results of your labor. So your questions are, how can I overcome an obstacle by using my talents? And... When have I solved a problem using my ingenuity in the past? Yeah, that guy had to be like, look, there's like tw 10 petals and the stamens, which are the sex organs, definitely remind me of Jesus somehow. Anyway. Edda is an adventurer who appears in the main story and then reappears in the optional story of the Tom Terra Deepcroft hard mode. Fascinating. I'll. Yeah, you know what this pond reminds me of? For me, it'd be like, oh my god, this reminds me of Fire Emblem. But this guy was like, this reminds me of J-Man. Remember him? Thank you, Tyrannus, for your support. And I hope those questions help you out this month. You know, think about that in the next 30 days or so. We're getting to the end of the year. You know, time is drawing on. Jay-Z, yes. A Jesuit. <laughs> the Jesuits are all about Jay-Z. Yes, Jesus was the original boss baby. He was the baby of the boss. All right, let me set this deck aside so I can get my keyboard back out. This is not the right keyboard. Hold on, sorry about that. Okay, here we are. So we're picking the AMs. We're watering things. I don't think I'm gonna plant stuff here again. I guess I. Yeah, it's a lot of work, and I'm about. I'm. I'm trying to be about that cow life. You know. He was an actual Nepo baby. Yeah, I guess so. If you think about it, maybe. I gotta... I, I know there was an anime made 
of the manga I read in college, Saint Onisan, which is about Jesus and Buddha hanging out in the same apartment and getting into shenanigans in Japan again. Um, I gotta, I gotta eventually watch that anime because it's such a fun concept to me. I was reading that in college, going to a women's Catholic college and being like, okay, this informs my understanding of Christianity. <laughs> and then having to do like exegetical biblical classes and be like, oh, that was a joke. That was a joke from this comedy manga about Jesus and Buddha and not anything, you know, oh, I see. Well, egg on my face. They don't tell you that. There's no little footnote. This is a joke for entertainment purposes, Tina. That's why I have to say it on the show. I'm trying to make sure y'all don't get caught. Think of the wrong things. <sighs> That's bit me in the butt so many times throughout my life. Like, my dad telling me as a joke that organic means more dirt. And then I got into an argument at the age of 18 with my friend who was taking Latin classes. And I won that argument saying like, no, my dad wouldn't lie to me. I know for sure, John, that organic means more dirt. Go home and tell my dad. I was like, yeah, dad. My friend John was like, if those aren't the particles of that word. I was like, why would my dad lie to me? <laughs> and my dad just going, oh no. Oh no. And then laughing uncontrollably. It was then that I realized the repercussions of having a comedian as a father. Yeah, my friend John is an idiot. I thought this guy was smart, but what a dum-dum. He's taking a line class since he doesn't even know. I don't know if I ever apologized to John for that. <laughs> I need to write the Bible studies manga. That would be sick. Is there one? That could get me through it. There surely has to be one. Although I don't know what Christian cults are doing in Japan. I think they might be into other activities. Bad stuff, probably. They're probably not making any good high quality manga. Oh, that is the last of my trash. I need to pick other trash. Get some CDs. Oh, I think this turns into quartz. Yeah, that would have been cool if I was like, you know, Sister Mary, check this out. You wouldn't believe this. It's Buddha and Jesus, just like in the Bible, right? Remember when Buddha and Jesus hung out that one time in Japan? And they went to Asana, and then Jesus got in trouble. Because they thought he was in the Yakuza. Yeah, they're not operating in good faith. Oh, I see what you have done there. You've been to a weird Christian bookshop. They like cartoon versions of the Bible a lot. Well, they, like the Bible's got some cute stories. You know, very colorful, imaginative stories that like are fun to illustrate. So, um, the origin of the word organic is... When a Roman saw his first spleen, he was like, that's an organ? Ick. Exactly. See, you get it. You get it, Manny. To this day, I'm sure John has arguments with his partner about organic meaning more dirt. Yeah, I've probably cursed that poor man forever. Sorry, Jonathan. I'm deeply sorry for everything, honestly. Probably. I'm sure I did more of that stuff. Hello, Earthgate. Good to see you. I guess I have to go plant some seeds. I don't want to. I just made all this fertilizer and I couldn't care less about it. Making problems for myself. I can give a yam to the community board. Oh, yes, and the sea urchin as well. And then we'll give gun through this little starfish. Good afternoon, Juan. Good to see you as well. What is that now? That is a chainsaw. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, is that a chainsaw mask? Is that the little... Is that the little Beano? The little Dino Dino? Wearing a human face mask? That's truly wild. Okay. Um, I need to give something to a man. I knew men like yams. I knew men liked yams. I knew it. I knew it. I had my suspicions and I knew it. Men do enjoy yams. It's good 
to be right. What's up, Mr. Man? I know you like yams. Looks like a football, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh my gosh. My only exposure to Texas Chainsaw Massacre is Queens Who Like to Watch, which is a Netflix program on YouTube where they make drag queens watch stuff that's available on Netflix. And one of the things, for like Horror Month, they did uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and some other stuff. That movie is scary! That movie is scary! They would cut away when it got really gruesome. But there was a part where you'd trap some people on a bus and that was scary. It was a little corny though. I mean, killing like three people at once with um with like the chainsaw like kind of skewering them. That was a little silly. Give me my reward now. A beautiful painting. Oh, I don't know. It was a little it was tense for a skate. They were like stuck in a car and like Oh, what's up, Leah? I don't you might like me. I figured it. Uh, they were like stuck in a car in a cornfield and like he came out and he like put on somebody's face. It was weird. The sequels to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre can't be as hell. The remake is definitely creepy. Is that the one I was watching? What I liked is there was a badass old lady in it who had a shotgun and it was like, that's what I want to be when I grow up. Minus the shotgun. Because that's loud. I don't know if I want to be firing shotguns and stuff. I'll let Leon do that for me. Okay, the stream is Dead by Daylight, and Bubba, the killer in Texas main child characters, is one of the kills that they play as. Oh, I see. Fascinating. So that's why they have it. I was like, are they just a big fan? Oh, you're learning about another extremely involved Yakuza 0 minigame. What minigame are you getting into right now, or skate? Because I love the Yakuza franchise because of all their minigames. Oh, there's a girl. Let's give her a yam. We're handing out street potatoes sweet potatoes on the street what is up don't eat it what is up eat it i know it's not a rock but like get over it see sweet see old folks know what to do with the sweet potato okay they weren't born yesterday they were born about 80 years ago yes have you dressed up a girl yet or escape because the music, the music in the minigame. <gasps> You're heading out for sweet potatoes. Are you sleeping? Good night, Mash. Dream of sweet potatoes. Dream of yams. Thank you so much for being here, Mash. Oh my god, that jam. That tune is so good. Oh, so when you said minigame, you actually meant actual whole ass management game inside my Japanese organized crime camp fest. Yeah. <laughs> they would make bank just making a solo standalone game in which you manage these women at these tables. Sweet potato mash, right? Ooh, that's good stuff. Oh, yes, Pierre's. Okay, okay. Oh, the fair's coming up. Damn. The monsters known as Dust Sprite are throwing the elemental balance into disarray. We're like an adventure to kill all of them. Okay. What do I have a deadline? Oh. Oh. I uh, should have been doing this, it looks like. Oh, man. I don't blame you, Escape, but. Um, yeah, Yakuza 0 and all the Yakuza games are, like, the most minigame- Like, I thought Final Fantasy 7 had a lot of minigames. It's nothing in comparison to the Yakuza franchise. Every corner is a minigame. Mini like, you just stop in somewhere for a bite to eat and it's, like, all minigame time, you know? It's wild, but it's delightful. I have one other thing to give them. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me see. Show me ah, a sweet tater, that's right. One of our golden sweet potatoes. <coughs> I think that's in here. Here we go. Tater time, baby. 
Okay. I guess we probably won't be able to do the thing where you do all the trash in one day, huh? Yeah, every corner there's a, there's a mini game. <clears throat> exactly like in real life. Hello, ma'am. Would you care for a yell? Ladies love yams. What's up, ma'am? Yam time? It's a super gift. I know, because you have taste and you're a good person. You do appreciate a yam. How would you like a yam as a gift? Like, if somebody put a bow around a yam, what'd you think about that? If they had given me a few other gifts and were and then they were like, I got you something I know you really wanted, and then it was a yam, I think I'd laugh. I think I'd enjoy that. If it was the only gift they got me, and it was like, you know, an important day or something, I think I'd see it a little differently. But I think if it was like a combination of several gifts plus a yam wrapped in a ribbon, or if it was just like a Tuesday and they're like, I got you something, and I'm like, what, and it's a yam? I'd like that. I think that would be fun. Let me sell my yam. Oh wait, am I can um... <clears throat> I can actually make a seed maker. I do need a gold bar for that though. Okay. We're moving on up in the crafting world. Making it happen. You like the hair? Thank you, Majora. I appreciate that. You know, it. <clears throat> the braids don't actually take that long to do, thankfully. But they're an essential part of Farming Friday, so I gotta make it happen. Let's get back a little bit of, um,. I want to get a little bit of our wood back. We just put like 300 wood into making a bridge, so. A random yam? I think it would be fun. I think that's like a cute gift. Ooh, these are moss trees, right? I forgot about those moss trees. I will plant them and grow more. I was wondering why this tree was like naked and dead. Wow, it is densely forested out here. Extraordinarily dense. How are you doing today, Majora? Got any fun plans for the weekend? I intend mostly to, um... Uh... I don't know, catch up with my aunt and my other aunts. And maybe... Maybe just take it easy. I've been doing a lot of taking it easy lately. But my hip is getting slightly better, so I know it's working, the taking it easy thing. So I've kind of got to keep that going if I want to keep, you know, my body accepting me. So begrudgingly, I will have to do it. That just means more Metopia, laying in bed. And when I beat Metopia, I might just play Fire Emblem Three Houses again. Because I have lost my mind completely, and that sounds like a good idea. You know what? I'm not going to cut that thing down. Let me cut some of these. Watch out, kitty! Oh my god! Are you okay? <laughs> you, like, killed my dang cat. I hope you can't do that. I am starting to feel exhausted. Whoa, just kidding. Hold on. Hey. Uh... Hey. There you go. Hey -o. no longer exhausted, and now I'm good at foraging. Hell yeah. Yeah, let's not drop a tree on Navi. Navi, watch out! This guy has a death wish. <laughs> it's flattening out like, oh, you squished me. Navi. Quit doing that. Someone come take away this cat from me. Now it's sleeping. Okay. cat. Drama queen. <sighs> There's such a lovely sound right now in the um, in the trees. I think it's the sound of like the leaves blowing. You need to find some personal papers this weekend. You're gonna do some government stuff. Okay. Good luck. Ooh. Where do you usually actually this sounds like a security problem. Never mind. I hope you can find your personal papers. Stop swinging your axe that way. 
Um, I hope you can find those papers. I was about to say, where do you usually keep your important papers? But like, that sounds like I'm trying to break into your house and take them, which I'm, listen, I got enough papers myself. I don't need anybody else's papers. <laughs> and what would the key to your uh, firebox be? Uh, which, if y'all don't have a firebox, I recommend it if you have to, like, keep important documents in there. That's good to have in case fires and such. Yeah, where do you keep your jewels and large bills? Do you stuff anything in your mattress, perhaps? I'm a paper thief. Yeah, that's why I have so many documents. Oh, looks like that app break is running. Sorry. Let's just keep chopping away until Link passes out, honestly. Take down this tree. Because one of my damn trees isn't growing. One of my apple trees is not appling right now. It's not applying itself. I'm guessing it's this one, and it's because this is here. Getting a lot of refined quartz? I wish I know I need for something. It's like something I actually care about too. Oh. I accidentally made a gravel path, I bet. Refined quartz is used in something. It's not a bee house. It's not a keg. Oh, I know what it is. It's uh the next level of spring color. Yeah, that does the eight tiles. Mm-hmm. God, iridium. When am I gonna get iridium? Should I just skip quality sprinklers and go straight to the iridium? Maybe I'll make a few quality ones in the meantime. <sighs> but 24 adjacent tiles is pretty damn good. Hey, what is this? A tomato shirt? A shirt that answers the big question, tomatoes are... Oh, but the rest is smudged. It's supposed to say tomatoes are fruit or tomatoes are vegetables. When did I get... <laughs> Where did I find this tomato shirt? In the trees? Well, let me put it on. Let's see. I don't like that it replaces my overalls. Though. We'll put it in there for when I am going to the tomato fest. So everyone will get a kick out of that. Imagine if Paper Mario was actually a clerical simulator starring Mario. That's what Nintendo needs to get into. I think that's a genius idea, Manny. Paper Sorting Mario. His job working at a desk in the Mushroom Kingdom. He is a plumber, so why not take on a different kind of job? Get away from it all, you know? The hubbub, the bustle, the adventure. Bowser's just his boss. Not like a final boss, just his boss. He's just a manager. Okay, let me plant this right about here. And I guess I'll plant like an acorn right about here. Some pine cones. Not really given a care where. So you gotta sweep out some space room, huh? Okay. What a beautiful pond we have. <clears throat> oh, I gotta go to bed. No! <laughs> I forgot. Oh, God. Get my butt to bed, please. Here we go. Mario was sending scathing emails to Princess Peach on behalf of Bowser, and then he's like, I gotta go to HR where Peach is and rescue her. Well, now I can craft lightning rods. I can make wild seeds fall. And I can also craft those beach totems. Cool. Oh, my axe proficiency. I slightly increased. <sighs> Speaking of which, I think I wanted to drop off my pickaxe at the man's house. My damn apple tree was not a freaking damn grow last damn night, and it drives me nuts. Let's uh, see what the weather's like tomorrow. Clear and sunny. Perfect weather for the Stardew Valley Fair. That's right. Tina Two Yawns. That's me. That's my name. My name and my frequent habits. If I could help myself, I could. I wish I wasn't the sleepiest person on Twitch. I wish I was, like, 
so high energy. I think sometimes, like, that's why I streamed first thing in the morning. You bastard crow, get out of here. I gotta make another scarecrow. It needs some fiber, okay. Let's just load this place up with crow. Do I have an apple? I have an apple. I have a pen. Huh. Pineapple pen. Okay, I'm just loading up on crows. Alright, I'm tired of these fools wrecking my business. I'm gonna put a scarecrow here. One here. And like one here. Or whatever. That's true, I don't stream myself sleeping, but... I, uh... I am still a very sleepy person. Going to work after a full day of work, I think will do it to you. I wonder if it must be like this tree, but I don't want to get rid of this because I think it's a good pumpkin. It's a good pumpkin tree. More quartz. What do you think I should put on display at my Grange? I'm thinking... Like my purple star stuff, probably. Hi, Link. How are things going? You must really be making a fortune on that farm. Don't forget your dear old mother when you're a millionaire. Love, Mom. P.S. Enjoy the cake. Mm, that cake looks good. Uh, we actually have some cake. Uh, my dad bought some sort of thing from uh, Weiss. Or something like that. Uh, he bought some some sort of little chocolate layer cake hopefully to entice his friends with but his friends aren't really dessert people so now we have napoleons eclairs and a cake in the fridge good thing it's dessert weekend link i've been really glad you're a part of our community here's five dollars from mr lewis thanks buddy appreciate the five bucks Link, by the way, I want to remind you the Stardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Don't forget to bring your nine items. Did he just try to bribe me? Do you think? He sent me five bucks in the mail. That feels like bribery. <laughs> Wait, why didn't that work, Manny? That's weird. The boob and the clap, it did not work for me. I'm not seeing that showing up. Hmm. Very intriguing. Probably just a little glitch in the thing. Well, let's water all 10 billion of our veggies that I always want to grow and then kick myself for growing. And I think we should go to the mines to kill those dust sprites today. Because I'm going to forget. And we're not going to have time to do it tomorrow because it's going to be the Grange. So let's do that today. I'm out of water, of course. I'll check it on the girls. Might as well. Hey, Regis. I wonder what chickens smell like. You know, I don't think I've ever been around chickens. Yeah, it might be acting funky today. Could be acting up. I've never been like around domestic chickens before. Our neighbor across the um, stream, Chicken John, had chickens, so I never got you know close enough to be like, "Let me get a whiff of that chicken." Yeah, chickens just smell dirty, probably. They smell like birds. I don't really know what birds smell like. Like dust, kind of, right? The birds just smell like dust. Man. It's weird that birds have a smell, you know? Dusty fluff. That's what I thought. I figured as much, because, like, birds love to give themselves dust baths. So I figured that chickens would kind of smell dusty. I feel like it might be rude to tell a chicken that, like, you smell dusty. Or, like, somebody who owns chicken, they would probably take offense to it. Those farm animals smell like variations of fecal matter, yeah. Probably because they're kind of full of it. Well, I sure do have enough of those eggs, don't I? I need to catch a good-looking fish. 
But I also need to get out of those mines and do that project. Ah. Cause we're not gonna have a lot of time to get those dust mites. Their pens do smell like poop, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Hence, I mean, cause they're doing all the pooping in there. But yeah, I guess chickens aren't gonna smell like, you know, KFC or something. They're gonna smell like an animal that lives in the dirt and poops out eggs. Really? Horses? They have a musty smell that isn't unpleasant, surprisingly. Interesting. I think it's- I wonder if it's because they are such a big beast, Manny, that, like, maybe their, like, scent to hair ratio is off. Maybe it's more akin to, like, how human beings process their smell. Horse musk. Is that a thing? Is that a thing folks are into? Horse musk? Hmm. Alrighty. Let's go to the mines. Let me... I'm actually gonna maybe make it to the box. Because we got a lot of junk. A lot of junk. I'm gonna start putting junk in this box. So. I... What will I need? Won't need this, this, or this in the mines. Won't... Well, maybe. You never know. But I definitely won't need that, or that, or that, or that, or that. Should bring some form of food, so it'll be the autumn's bounty. <clears throat> okay, this is good enough. Let us go to the mines. The kitty cat has been fed. It's time for us to get our work going. I can't believe I didn't get that prismatic slime for the last uh, super quest we elected to do. We really tried hard for that one. Humans actually got a musty smell. They don't be able to soap for long enough. Initial few weeks is gross, but then there's a transition. They smell kind of woody or earthy. Interesting. Fascinating. I guess it's, you know, returning to this. Just, it's just an animal smell. You know, returning to some sort of animal smell. No, let me just I have nothing to give you. But I do have that apple bit on it. Not for him. During this time of year, I try to divert my attentions to fun guy. Oh, you seem like kind of a fun guy. Alright, well, that's it. Goodbye. He didn't think that was funny. He needs an introduction when he goes to the fun guy function, let me tell you. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that, Manny. Let's see if we can find these dust bunnies. Or dust spirits. Oh, hey, what's all this? Alright, I mean, it's 1 p.m. It's not like we're really hauling patootie through this mine. Hopefully we can find some cool stuff in here. There's a belief that before soap, people smell like pee-pee and poo-poo. But again, it was because they were living in pee-pee and poo-poo. Yeah, chamber pots, throwing stuff out the window, yeah. It's not like humans just naturally are going to smell like pee-pee. It's only if you got it on you still. And it's not like crusting up and drying off, I guess. Maybe I shouldn't be talking about this. Maybe this isn't polite conversation. Can you skip steps when it comes to making, um, like, can I skip from having, this is an eggplant question, by the way, so you can answer. Can I skip the step of making a copper pickaxe and go straight to, like, a iron pickaxe? Or does he have to make it copper first and then iron? I always wanted to know. This is a tune, by the way. Yay, dust bunnies! We need to kill you. Come here, creatures. Please die. You are one rambunctious creature. I do need to kill you. Okay. I. This is new. This little counter over here, that's new. Sadly, no, you gotta do the copper and then the iron. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. French aristocrats would have fancy screen dividers in their party halls, and they would go off in a corner and do their business. So I have heard. And it's 12. Oh yeah, dude. Uh, we have exactly the remaining amount to kill. Ding! 
I have eradicated the dust bunnies. Can you believe this luck right here? Are you kidding me? Look at the look at all this damn iron ore. I'm gonna be set for life. I'm gonna have enough of those. Uh... I hopefully I think this might be needed for some of those sprinklers, and if so, we're in. Can I make a cherry bomb out of anything? Let's see. Ch -ch -ch cherry bomb. You need copper ore, okay? Unfortunately. Well, we'll stay in the mines till about mm, 10 or so, then we'll go back. Come on, come over here. Oh wow, they really want to get some of this, don't they? Okay. They don't want to get this, actually, it's yours. I don't know where that- oh, there's that bat. Okay. Oh dear, another one. Down I go. 445. Ding, ding, ding. Sometimes I think these crystals have something. I'm not sure if they always have something. Oh dear, he's charging up. I think sometimes they do. I have a false memory of that, perhaps. I cannot imagine the impulse solitary Jordan to just, like... I mean, I guess it's not that different from going to a bathroom, but I can't imagine going to a corner in a party and just dropping trow right there. That's wild. Let's get my energy back real quick. Such an absurd thought to me. But, like, also, I feel weird using a bathroom if the wall shares a wall with, like, a room someone else is in. I hate that. You're at a party or you're at a hotel or something, and you know, you're like, uh, I wonder, will they be able to hear? Don't Actually, I guess that would be fertilizer for the fun guy, so maybe it's okay, Manny. Where is the way down, for Pete's sake? Look at the cool designs on these walls, these little squirrelies. Yes, you better hope it's a delicate one. You better hope, Kaosa. Good to see you, by the way. Got a geode, but no stairs down. I'm gonna be stuck on the stair route. Did I already drop the staircase? No. Very strange. Weird. Maybe there's no stairs down? I know I haven't uh, gotten to the bottom of this mine, but it sure does feel like it. The ghostly howling isn't helping. Oh no. Yes, well you you pray it doesn't sound like ride with Norman Reedus, Manny. Finally, that was wild. It took so dang long. We got two frozen tears though. Oh I forgot these guys drop rocks sometimes. I think they'll like eat a rock and turn it into something else. Let's see if we can get to 50. You were lurking for a little bit. You had to weigh in on this one. Well, it's an important question for the ages, isn't it? A, a universal one, indeed. Something we can all relate to. The panic of having to poop. In a room next to a room where your friends are. The horror, the terror. Oh no, speaking of horror and terror. It's a bad invasion. Goofy stuff, Hideo. Oh, you wonder what kind of goofy stuff Hideo Kojima is going to come up with to hide Norman's toilet shenanigans this time? I wonder I wonder if that's going to be a function in the next game. Did he already say, don't worry everybody, there's piss? I know what you're thinking. Yes, you can make Norman Reedus go pee pee poo poo in the next Death Stranding. Again, I haven't removed that functionality. I have only improved it. Made it more realistic and lifelike. Do you think Hideo Kojima would like those baby alive dolls? Where like you can feed your baby doll food and then it'll poop out stuff? I feel like if he just had one of those growing up, we wouldn't have all this. We wouldn't have Ride with Norman Breedis playing on a toilet. I think he might just be normal. I don't know if 
I can make it down. Yeah, I probably can't make it to the next world. Let's head back up. I don't want to lose what we got. Hey, so smart, Zelda. You did the smart thing. You set your alarm tomorrow a few minutes ago. Perfect. And you check that it's for AM instead of PM. Because sometimes it'll get you. Actually, it was a weapon against BTs. Yeah, so. But are we going to be fighting BTs in the new one? <clears throat> wow, that was a good haul. <coughs> if there's anything to take to the community center, let me just get a look. There's like one thing. I think you need a specific amount of bat wings. This is for the board, I think. I can drop off the apple. What? Where do I? Where do I? Which one is the? Which one is the bat wing one? It's not a fish tank. Boiler room? Boiler room. Okay, I need more um, bat wings. Ah, I see. Good idea, Zelda. Now, are you going to go to bed early? Because that's the follow-up. Gotta make sure you're getting some good sleep, too. Could you do that in the original, Manny? I don't remember using... I, I, I use those grenades very sparingly, I think, in the original Death Stranding. But boy, was I making it, uh, was I making Norman Reedus go to the bathroom a lot. I just thought he needed it. <clears throat> now let's go to the community center. Okay, if you go to bed around 9 or 10 tonight. Okay. Well, you know yourself. Hopefully you'll be able to swing it. It's pretty late. It's pretty late. I should not be in the community center. This is a mistake. I'm going to wake up dead. Because I don't know where we got to go for these. Well, one is the apple for the bundle. <clears throat> the um, lady bundle. Hello? Three! Marjorie, absolutely not. Or whatever your name is. Girl, three. Three apples. You should be so, You should be happy with one. Oh man, does anything else need to go there? Frozen tear? We're going home. Hi, Bossy Donut, good to see you. I woke up early today. Oh lord, have mercy. I woke up early today because I thought we had to do a bunch more work. Where the fellas came over, but the house is still in pretty good condition, so kind of did all that for not. That's okay. You're gonna get out some sleep as well. I will see you tomorrow for Final Fantasy. We're doing hide and seek at Rad's at Han tomorrow, so that'll be fun. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of your night, you and that you sleep well. Oh, getting my butt in bed. Unrelated to anything. <clears throat> I really miss having cinnamon buns with the orange flavored icing on it. Don't know why I just got a craving. It's gonna rain all day! Oh, and today is the festival, isn't it? At 9 a.m. Shoot. Well, we better be quick about it. Whoa! So much crap in my inventory. Okay. And I can't pick up more crap because my inventory is full of crap. Okay. I'm going to start putting some things away. Let's see what we can sort. Hey, I have enough bat wings, so there's that. I'm going to grab those ten for later. And I can't dump out these rocks, really? I've been holding on to a bunch of rocks? Seems strange. I mentioned my Christmas gift of choice. You mean, um, cinnamon buns with orange icing on them? I suppose so. I mean, I guess I wouldn't make a bad gift. It would knock me on my butt, probably. But we got corn. Corn for days. And it's six o'clock. Time for me to take my meds. Already six o'clock. I feel like. I feel like cinnamon buns are a great Christmas morning breakfast. 
Oh yeah, a big one too. The ones that Pillsbury makes are usually like this big, which is probably good for me. That's probably an appropriate Tina size, but if I could get one of them big ones, they're like five inches across, so five by five, would be great. All right, let me get my meds. I forgot to bring them over. on water so I might actually throw us to the break screen a little early I'm not gonna take a long break but I am gonna get some water so let me put us on the duck screen and let me play you all a little bit of music as well I'm gonna take a quick like two or three minute break <clears throat> just to go downstairs and get some more water so I don't get dehydrated today and I hope you enjoy the duckies uh, this is still from yesterday's footage, so hopefully you'll see some new ducks, some new action. Devante's in here as a duck, uh, aka like and venom, um, as like a little firefighter duck. So I think that should be fun. I shall see you all soon. Like that, probably dehydrating myself. Speaking of dehydrating, back from the break, let's check the mushroom dehydrator as well. <clears throat> we got oh man. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff to pick, though. Oh, thank you, Tess. You love this outfit so much. It makes me very happy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Alright. So we got a bunch of these guys to pick. Ooh, lord. Maybe I can fit it all in my pockets? Would you believe that I can? Oh, hold on. One more thing. So what's new with you, Tess? And also, Will. Thank you so much for dropping by during my short break. I'll be taking a longer break around 7, as I usually do, uh, to feed the dog, get a snack, that kind of thing. <sighs> I might as well sell all this stuff, whatever, it's just foraging. The corn, though. The corn seems in, in, important, but maybe it's not. Today is the Grange. Today is the Grange. I need to get ready for the Grange. I forgot about the Grange. What am I going to do for the damn Grange? Ugh. Okay, how about like a diamond? A sword? Maybe I can threaten them? Melon jelly seems good. I should have caught some fish. <laughs> damn it, I... I thought about catching fish. Corn? Does the amount matter? Let me sell my corn that doesn't matter real quick. What else do I have? Oh, that was the same bar. Okay. <clears throat> I know I have some eggs in here. I have some, like, blue eggs that I wanted to use. This is going to be a pretty busted display, y'all. This may not be winning me awards. I don't know if we're winning the Grange display this year. Uh, so I got a diamond, I got mayonnaise, I got jelly, I've got a corn. Um, you know, you've been here since your job. Oh, so that's new. Other than that, you've been lifting weights. That's right. And playing to Vinitu. Tell me about your lifting of the weights. Um, do you have any, like, what's your personal bests? What are you working on right now? Um, you popped into Lark a few times for Final Fantasy XIV, but you missed any updates. So lately we've been having, like, lots of family come over and visit. My, uh, uncle and aunt on my mom's side came over to visit. And one of my aunts on my dad's side, plus all his besties, came over to visit today. So I'll be seeing my aunt on my dad's side. To, no. Sunday. <laughs> God, time is weird with all these plans and stuff uh, but I should be seeing my aunt on Sunday uh, so that's really all the exciting stuff is just like lots of company lots of guests it is a little bit tiring but also at the same time it's just awesome to see all these people and, and see all their love for my family and be able to share in that love so that's been very nice Holy, I do not know what to put in my grange. I'm going to grab some maple syrup and a cake. Because why not? Usually, I know, I know I have eggs. 
Here's my blue eggs. Great. You know, there are chickens who lay blue eggs, by the way. Um, I believe the Delaware blue hen does just that. Maybe I'll take some, like, pickle green bones. Pickle cauliflower. Now, if I had dried some morals, they might think that's fun. How about star fruit? That's a cool one. They might be into that. And some wheats. I mean the wheats. We'll just see. We'll see what's up. Who impresses these people? Hey again, Ziff. How are you? Welcome back. What are you getting up to, Ziff? Uh, I do need to jellify some stuff, so let me get that going, too. Uh, hey, you know what? Before I jellify some stuff, maybe I should water. Hey, I bet my cows are making milk, too. Ooh, milk. Now that's something I could put on display. I don't have my bucket. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Get over there quick <laughs> before it's time for the damn Grange. All right. Uh, milk bucket. Go. Store. Let's store the stuff I'm not going to use. Let's grab the watering pail because I will need that. Store this. Okay. Let's do a little bit of watering, then we can do the milking. Although, I can water late at night, but the cows won't let you milk them when they're asleep. You were with dumbbells and a kettlebell at home. So you're currently working on a bicep curl. You can do one 25-pound bicep curl, and you want to build that up. And you do a 15-pound shoulder press. Love that. <clears throat> that is so inspiring to me, Tess. Honestly, I want to... I, I would love to lift weights as well myself. I just, like, lift... I don't know, like a 30-pound bag of mulch. That's what I can do. And I can carry it a little while. <laughs> I can't put it up over my head, though. I feel like that'll break my neck. But uh, I do wanna, I do wanna get stronger always. You know when I mostly wanna get stronger, Tess. I'm always like, I should do push-ups when I haven't slept well. It's like always my impulse. Like I feel weak, so I should do push-ups. But I didn't sleep, and I'll probably snap a tendon. You know, it's like the only time I think to do push-ups is now that I haven't slept. But company can be really nice and also super draining after a while. It was lovely. We haven't had too much downtime because it's been a lot of visits. But I'm thinking after my aunt visits on Sunday, we're going to take like a week or two off. And then maybe I might have my cousin from New York come visit my dad. You're slowly finishing. Oh my god, you're finishing Core Keeper? You're enjoying it a lot, but the end game has been a lot of not fun grinding. Oh my god. I, I wasn't aware that game had an end. I thought it was like Stardew Valley. You're bottlenecked trying to farm gems to fight the last handful of bosses, but the gems have really low drop odds. Oh, I didn't know there was bosses in that. Stardew Valley don't think has bosses. It's just like enemies, you know. I wonder if they're going to do bosses in uh, Haunted Chocolatier. By the way, I think Tiny is tracking me, so position three. Petition three? That works. Okay. <clears throat> Let's check in on the Goyles. Oh, that's right. It's like Terraria, because Terraria does have bosses. Good morning, ladies. Are you old enough to be milked? Hell yeah. And they're loving it. Milked and loving it. Oh, what? Oh. You gotta milk it from the milking side. Good morning, ladies. I got some chocolate milk for my chocolate cow. I love brown cows. I love brown cows. I feel like every cow should be brown. But I do like a good, I mean like cow print, a classic white and black cow print is kind of a serve. But I mean brown cows, just imagining them being chocolate is great. <clears throat> I want to say thanks for taking on an interest in my work. Here's a cooking recipe that I like. Recipe, fried mushroom. Thanks man. So you're telling me you put a mushroom in a pan with butter and then that's your recipe? That's sick man. Killer. You guys know it has an end, but you can play it forever. Okay, kind of like Stardew Valley. Because you can play Stardew Valley. Valley? You can play Stardew Valley forever as well. Hello there, ma'am. Oh, right. This is like the fair in Chrono Trigger. Okay, time for mini games. Let me set up my Grange. Starfruit. Diamonds. Jellies. 
Oh, you can only do the one, okay. Egg. Really good egg, I think. Uh, wheat? Uh, pickles. Corn. Apple? Milk. I, do you think I should sub one of these out with a cake, though? It's hard candy so tough. Oh my god, it's PBPN! Hello! PBPN, have you seen some of the wonderful new emotes we have? That's basically weightlifting, right? At work, when you lift, like, a 20-pound box, you're like, ooh, free workout. And you're literally the same way. You can't ever do a push-up well. Yet your body weight is a little, just a lot more than your chest strength, so you can choose your struggle with that. I see, Tess. Yeah. For me, I have, like, a mental barrier when I'm doing push-ups, Tess, where it's like, what if I fall on my face? That's my big worry for some reason. But the urge is there, yeah. Whenever I don't sleep well, I'm like, I've got to do push-ups. It's such a w weird urge. But I have it. This gal looks great. I think she looks fun. I would talk to her. Wow, that's the biggest cheese wall I've ever seen. Very impressive. I think she might have me beat with that cheese. <clears throat> Let's try to win some prizes. <gasps> now you have Wowie Zowie! Aren't they amazing? You just got those in like two days ago. They're spectacular. How are you, PBPN? I hope life is treating you well. That egg is indeed a Stardew Valley egg. Are you picking up eggs in Corky Brazil? Let's win big at the fishing. Here we go, here we go, here we go again. Catch my fishies. Let's go. Oh, I have to do it? Oh, damn. Oh, I almost had a perfect fish there. That would have been pretty choice. It's okay. <clears throat> I feel like just the other day I was like, gosh, I gotta tell PVPN about this and I cannot remember what it was with life of me now. You had a very chaotic- Oh! Did I end it early? I- Okay. I was just trying to pause. I don't know if you can pause. Um, so you had a very chaotic last few months, but things are finally settling back down. Okay, thank goodness things are settling down. Ugh. I know how that is. I've been okay, PPN. I started therapy. Good for me. You know, talking to a professional. Uh, I'm two for two in crying. <laughs> I swear to God, my therapist is like a tear whisperer. She, all she has to do is, be, is say, like, and how does that make you feel? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I never thought about that. You know. Uh, but it's great. It's a wonderful space for me to be in touch with my emotions and things like that. Good to see you, Lefty, by the way. Hope you're well. Um, so that's been fun. <clears throat> and just sort of keeping up with life's day-to-day -day things. Planning appointments for my dad. I've had a lot of guests over visiting my dad as well. Just my dad being able to reconnect with friends and family. It's great. You know what? That's a good idea. A little pillow. Then at least I have some cushioning, right? Good idea, Tess. That way, like, if I slip, which I won't, uh, then there's something there to catch me. Oh my god. I... <laughs> I feel that PPPN. One of those things where you're like, well, what else could go wrong? You know? And the universe kept showing. The universe is like, you aren't even ready for the sequel. You aren't even ready for the season finale. You know, but I'm glad that there's a season wrap on the drama for you, PBPN. Uh, and you're proud of me for therapy. The first bit's tough, yeah. And I think I really enjoy this therapist. Um, I feel like she's a great listener and stuff. Yes, I always use my yoga mat. In fact, I have two mats stacked on top of each other. It's extra cushy. So I feel like um, sometimes I get heel pain just staying on one mat. What's up, Emma? Good to see you. You're be you'll be meeting your trauma therapist on Wednesday. That's exciting, Emma. Find it funny no one questions that you're hatching chickens from eggs. Oh, I'm sorry, kittens from eggs. <clears throat> well, how about I question it for you? So, uh, what's laying eggs out there? Is there a do cats lay eggs? Yeah, the yoga mat. Oh my gosh, you got the new Astrobot game today. I have heard. Now, what do you like about that game? Because I have heard folks raving about that, saying it's good, but they haven't said anything specific about it, like why it's good. 
keep trying her hand at this game. I think I prematurely exited this game, this little fishing game. But boy, I feel like I've been, it's been a very long time since I have engaged in so much social activity with relatives. It's been a long, it's at least been since the beginning of the pandemic. You know. But even then, I feel like right as 2020 hit, that's when we started doing Zoom calls uh, each month. So, sort of a new era of being extremely connected to family. I almost missed this, but I did hear a little corner of the little doo -doo -doo. goofed up my perfection there. <gasps> I've heard about Fields of Mystria. How are you playing it, Tess? Should I get into it? I could like swap in Fields of Mystery. I do like Stardew some days and then Fields of Mystery other days. Oh, but that, is that an early access? You're hatching Ember Tails. They're fire cats that come from eggs. Okay, that makes sense. Come on, Link, pull this bit. I'm not getting this fish. This fish can go to hell. Wait, I might be getting this fish. No, this fish can go to hell. No, you can get out of here. Ruin my score, fishy. I love it so far. I haven't seen too much that's brand new. Aside from the, um, there was green rain once. So that was wild. Come on, fishy, cooperate. Ooh, a big boy! You want Fields of Mystery? It's super pretty. Hi, Pi. Good to see you. Yes, I need to hear more about Fields of Mystery. And I've never played Rune Factory, but I've heard folks talking about it. I have to say, like, the name Rune Factory sounds so unappealing to me. I'm like, it's a rocks factory. It's a factory of rocks. But it's, like, not that at all, is it? Talking to the characters alone is worth it. I've seen that there's some, like, kind of intense drama in the game, right? <clears throat> so Astrobot is great. Uh, there's fun level design that rewards you for exploring. There's collectibles. We love collectibles. It's also very wholesome and feel good. It has a good spirit in the way that it fondly references older PlayStation titles. Love that. I think that's great, Lefty. As an homage to, to PlayStation stuff, which I feel like very few franchises do that, at least in the PlayStation vein of things. <clears throat> Sackboy, I feel like, might do that, but I don't know if that's PlayStation exclusive. And, um... I don't know, it, it just... It feels like a Nintendo activity to do. It feels like more of a Nintendo thing to do, to be like, here is, like, a little... Like, in Animal Crossing, you can get, you know, Mario stuff and Zelda stuff. and You know, having that self-referential thing, I think, is fascinating. You're shiny hunting these kittens, trying to get the best skill pool on them, because each pet has a random set of skills. Okay, fascinating. Do they like fight alongside you? Are they familiars or something? Like that? Think I'd love Rune Factory? Uh oh. Is it dangerous, BBPN? Do you think I'd lose some time to it? Specifically, four, because it's the best one. Now, did four come out within the last like five or six years? <clears throat> I feel like I've I've heard about I feel like I heard about it on the besties or something okay they're pretty much familiar as I see that's cool so they like follow you around and they'll like fight other enemies with. that's a neat oh I shocked everybody you know I would have made a pretty good clown I think I missed my calling oh he doesn't look very happy I guess Mira Lewis had to cut cost with the budget clown this year <laughs> this clown doesn't have a it's like He's a ball, I guess. Oh, yes! Could I... Oh, is this about the, the orchid? Um, Zelda? I did check that out earlier. I haven't responded. I know nothing about orchids. And actually, my mom doesn't know much about them either. But if anybody knows anything about orchids, Zelda did post in the Discord a picture of their orchid with a little damage on the leaf. Um, so... I, this may not be 
This may not be great advice. This is the only thing I know about orchid Zelda. My mom, when she was trying to grow orchids, would water them with ice cubes. Like she would put ice in it so it would slowly melt over time. That's all I remember. Now, she never had a surviving orchid. <clears throat> so I don't know if that technique worked, but I hear that orchids are very fickle. If your mom knows more about orchids, you might ask her for proper, um, like, watering information, but I, Sally, know very little about them. Yeah. But yes, I saw that earlier today, and I was like, ooh, I hope somebody knows about orchids, because I know, I don't know anything. Oh, Rune Factory 4 Special, it got a remaster, I see. Um... Rune Factory 3 is the best Ziff, is that so? You want to like this game, but the disability, uh, the uh, fishing in it is disability friendly, and the dev has ignored years of pleas in the disabled community to address it. So you haven't touched in years. That stinks. Yeah, Emma. It's a bit challenging. The uh, I wish there was a way to just sort of turn the fishing off, because I don't love it. But, you know. Orchids on the rocks, indeed, Clamp. Give them a little ice. It's not really your jam because you're bad when it comes to more text-heavy, NPC-development-focused things. I see. I see. Gotcha. You think I get sucked in? Yeah, I do like it when there's, you know, the relationships between the characters and, like, you do the romance stuff. Which is so funny because I can't even think of, like, I get so shy when I have to romance a character, but I'm like, these two should kiss right now. But then when a character's like, can I kiss you? I'm like, ew! Kissing? Gross. But I need you to kiss your best friend right now. There's a mod for it. Okay, Tess. Interesting. Oh my god. Speaking of romance and video games, I finally remembered. I've got to post this on Discord. <clears throat> I'll post this in the meme section. We went to the wine store the other day. And I found a bottle of wine that says Garrus on it. Very Mass Effect. So this is going to go memes. Let's upload that. Now you can drink Garrus. It's $145. Garrus' juice is $145. It says, This is the cuvee that, prope that propelled Provence Rosé into the fine wine world. Wood aged with rich red fruits over serious spice with great ripeness. This wine has weight and concentration. I guess it sounds like Garrus. Yeah, exactly, PBPN. Like, kiss me? No. But what about that guy? I'm pretty sure he'd like to kiss you. Yeah. In fact, I've specifically put you two together for this mission so that you'll kiss. You know? <laughs> uh, but that's cool. Damn, there's a mod in this game for fishing. I have not tapped into mods for this game yet, but it's like a whole thing. It's like a big thing that people mostly do it for like the aesthetics. I think primarily. Robin works hard on her carpentry stuff. She deserves a little recognition now and then. <clears throat> I'm glad she's happy to be woodworking. Did she just make like a balance beam though and been like, check it out, it's a two by four with legs. I really admire Robin's carpentry skills. I use a lot of the same techniques in my own line of work. If she made like a carving or something. I'm trying to get with a guy. I'm trying to make Link gay. Um, so I just kind of throwing love as many guys as I possibly can. This one. It's connected today. I'm gonna wait out here for a while. Smoke cigarettes. Okay. I am having a good time, Sam. The slingshot tent is pretty fun. If you get good at it, you can really rack up the star tokens. Being by Brune Factory 4 and 5 were letdowns for you. They were good games other than that. Oh, but they didn't let you romance, like, if you're a woman, you can romance a woman or something. If you ever want quality of life aesthetic mod list, your friend made the best one. Really? I'm very intrigued, Tess. Yeah. You have a hard time wanting to date any of the guys in this game. I was like, I of course fell in love with Leah my first playthrough and I was like, well, I'm marrying her obviously. Um, but some of the guys can be very standoffish. I feel like the ladies are very approachable, but the guys have been a little standoffish. <laughs> All you care about is the mod that lets you date Caroline. She is the milf of your dreams, FBR. <laughs> I mean, that's facts. That's true, PVPN. 
her beautiful green hair, and she's stuck with that guy? Pierre is a chump. You like Caroline, but you're more of a Robin girly, yeah. Robin's hardworking, and I feel like maybe her relationship with Demetrius isn't the strongest thing in the world, but... Oh, I see. They did have same-sex dating, but the deserts are known for writing females, not males. Oh, okay. So maybe the, the male characters were underdeveloped, huh? <clears throat> All these animals are friendly and love to get massaged. Okay. Okay, can I massage this cow? Moo! I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the cow. Ow, I hand-packed my little people. Uh, just a few steps over there, Gus is grilling up a bunch of pork ribs. Yikes. Well, I've got some soul searching to do. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Children, do not block me out of here. <clears throat> Where is Gus? I want to see those pork ribs. He said it was close by. Mr. Linus, let me talk to you. Yeah, I bet. I bet Lefty. You didn't know how spouses work. It seems like Caroline is everybody's deal. You know, I never really talked to her that much. What, what drew you all to Caroline? You would date Gus? He seems like a fun guy. You know, he's always bringing the party. Uh, he's hearing everybody's, you know, tales. Hmm. Okay, both. It was not just females. Bo okay, both of them got underbaked. Okay, I see. They So so the, the team, the, the dating folks kind of came up half-baked. Yes! Right, PBPN? Dimitri just crushes Robin's creative spirit. I think I think some of his analytic like he wants to balance it, but I do think you're right that he like kind of crushes it with his analytical side, you know. Robin deserves better. We need a free Robin. I'm not the the stepdad. I'll be the dad that stepped up for Maru and Sebastian if I get in there with Robin. Let me tell you that. Gotcha, Caroline was the one person who stood out as a nice person early. She's got a nice smiling portrait, too. I mean, that's enough. A nice person with a good smile. That's really enough, for sure. Also, looks like the ad break starts in about five or six seconds. So if you're not subscribed, you might be seeing an ad, y'all. These animals are judged by their looks. The same can be said by humans. That's a big pig. Do, do our pigs end up looking like... Oh, wait, there's a mod for this game that make pigs look really cute, right? Because, like, the pigs are kind of brutal looking in this one. <gasps> you are the best, Tess. Thank you so much. That is great. I won the Wheel of Chance ten times in a row, and now the man won't let me play anymore. <laughs> You're going to be escorted out of the casino. Let's go with green. I'm going to wage... 88. <clears throat> I tell you, I've had the worst luck with these little Wheel of Fortune things. Don't do me like that. I hate you. Wait, what? I said orange? Just kidding. I win. Um, I thought I'd pick green. I've had the worst luck with these in Metopia. I've been playing a lot of Metopia. I forgot to tell you, Tess. That's one of the new things is I bought myself Metopia on the Switch. God, I love it. It's the best no-brain RPG. You don't, even have to, you don't even have to fight. You can set your character on auto. And then it just fights for you. And your party members are all on auto as well. Yeah, everything else is so cute. But then you get a pig and it's just like, why does this look like the saddest naked old man? Um, so. Metopia. You can use, um, like, tickets <clears throat> to do a little Wheel of Fortune thing. And you would either get new equipment for one of your characters. A, some food for them to eat, which gives them stat increases. An outing ticket so two people go off and like develop their social bond together. Again, it's a social bond game. Love those things. Love making the Barbies kiss. Or you get one of the most useless items, which is like MP candy or HP banana. Which I have a billion of. I don't use them. Because I know how to manage my characters so they don't die. Uh, but it's something that they can, like, if you're just super AFK letting the game play itself, sometimes your characters will get so low they'll eat a banana to recover their HP. But I have a billion of them, so I never need them. And I promise you, every time I say to myself, oh, there's only a 30% chance of getting an MP candy or an HP banana, I always get it. I always get the bad roll. If I say it out loud to myself, I always get it. If I even think it, I always get it. If a woman was... 
uh, building you furniture, you would abandon all your beliefs and support every dream that she could ever have, right? Yes, building furniture? Are you kidding me? That's a skill. So there's a trick to this gambling game. Tell me the trick, Zelda. This Shelby looks like so much fun. You can try a demo of it. If you have a Switch, you can play the demo for free. I believe the demo's still out there. You like those lumpy pigs? I guess there's some things in life that should be a little less precious, you know? In Rune Factory 5, there's one girl you can date, but uh, do not having enough uh, dev time, you can't actually date them because the devs messed up unless you only talk to them at really weird in-game hours, so normal players never see that character's events. Ooh, that's terrible, Ziff. That's really rough. Green is the trick. Always bet 160 on green. If you win, repeat. If you lose, bet 320. If you win, bet 160 on green again. Damn! Y'all are... You, you sh have you been to Vegas? You know the strat. You know the strats. You should go to Atlantic City. Okay, 160 on green. Let's go. I bet that's what Penny was doing. We're gonna get it, 160 on green. Baby, if you win repeats, they're about to escort me out of the casino. Okay, I'm gonna get all the tokens of my dreams. Until Concerned Ape comes to my channel and shuts me down. Like, excuse me, you're using illegal gamble tricks. <gasps> no! Wish Vegas treated you this well, yeah. Never been. I feel like it was just... Yes, my Uncle Phil I was just talking to you today. Okay, now, if you lose, bet 320 on green. Should I bet 320 on green this time, do you think? I just lost, because it was orange instead of green. But my Uncle Phil said that he went to that dome in Vegas. The one that they had U2 in and stuff. And it, you can, like, project images on the outside of the dome. That's cool. Always bet green? Okay, so like 320 on green, huh? <clears throat> Don't fail me now. I'm about to be poor as hell. Okay, thank God. Always bet on green, just never all the tickets. Yeah. 69? The sex number? Please. Okay. Uh, and then we bet... 160 on green again, okay. Great. Cool. Doing it. <sighs> but Metopia is too much fun, Tess. If you have a Switch, and literally any of you out there, just get Metopia. It's cute, okay? Get the demo. Put a little time into it. Make you, your friends, your family, your favorite video game characters. I made all the characters from Fire Emblem Three Houses because I have brain worms. So. I'm betting there's no real trick behind this 160 thing. But the fact that it is a 50% chance, I think, is very helpful. I don't know if the 160 is a magical number or whatever, but... The odds of green are significant enough that you can always get there with enough. You'll just always bet as much as you can while ha leaving you with, like, maybe 300 tickets left. Okay. Let's bet, like, <clears throat> I'll bet 600 on green. <gasps> Your roommate has a switch. I think it would be fun. Give it a shot if you can borrow the switch. <laughs> it's very cute. They also have this game I downloaded for free. It was called, like, um, some sort of jump rope game. <clears throat> There's That's, like, a free game that I downloaded. I think it came out uh, in 2020 as folks were, like, staying inside, not being able to exercise and things like that. So I think they made it as, like, a... F oh, no! <laughs> I think they made it as a free game for folks to enjoy. Um, but I haven't cracked it open. I accidentally like re-downloaded it. I have to give that a look. 
So no. You bet up to hundred and uh you bet up to twelve eighty. Okay. Maybe I'll bet twelve eighty on this one. <clears throat> Let's give it a look. Hopefully we win. I actually don't know how many tokens you need in order to get something good in this game. Beautiful! Look at this. Let's go see what we can procure. With my tokens. And then I'm judging. I'm getting judged. She is so beautiful. Okay. Ooh, a star drop. Hell yeah. Oh, that sounds... Maybe... The, oh, I'm having a, a psychedelic trip. Incredible power coursing through my veins. You found a star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of courage. Your maximum energy levels increase. Thank God. Alright, Miss Thing. Give me something else. A prize ticket. Oh! Pepper poppers. Fascinating. And I want to try making these. I'm not too big on spicy stuff, but jalapeno poppers are here are delicious. Do you like jump rope? It's I think it's a free game still test. I'm so rich, right? I'm rich. All right, let's keep doing our little wheel test, right? Let's keep making monies. Green, and we're gonna go with the 600. That's true, Lewis also gives us the free stars for the display, yeah. That's right, Solitary Jordan. But then it's just like bell peppers with cheese in it, right? Which isn't bad. But I think the spice of it might be manageable. I'm gonna hope that it is. But then, you know, it means I gotta go out and buy jalapenos. I don't grow my own jalapenos, because... Again, the folks are not very into spicy things. <clears throat> Let's go green. The cheese does balance the spice. Gotcha. And the idea of it being fried... Oh, don't go over it, thank god. The idea of it being fried just sounds so good to me. Alright, let's do like, I don't know, well, one, two, eight, zero again. Huh? No. Couldn't count. Jalapenos taste really good, but you're maxed out after like one slice. Oh yeah, just like after one jalapeno pop, you're like, I'm good. Oh my god, I hate to talk about food! You know what time it is though, it's food time. Um, my dad, very interestingly, picked some... A cheese that I know my father would never pick for himself. I know my dad would never pick this cheese. He picked steakhouse style onion cheddar. It was pretty darn good, but I was surprised to see it in the fridge today. I had to have a slice. It's very interesting. Gotta get a fedora. Gotta get dried sunflowers. Gotta get the pepper poppers. Gotta get the like bought this lady out. You're welcome. Alrighty. <clears throat> I think it's time to judge the Grange. Oh, I haven't spoken to everybody, though. Are you setting up a Grange display link? It's your chance to show off all the good produce from Hachino. <sighs> I tried my very best, but my display is pretty weak compared to Pierre's, who's obviously selling all the stuff I grew. My store carries the fine, the very finest quality products in the whole valley. Please inspect my Grange display closely and see for yourself. I hate him, smug, smug bastard. Ah, I already beat all the games. Now what? I played the strength game so many times that arms feel like rubber. Have you been to the fortune teller? She set up her stand in the graveyard. I already saw her. She told me something interesting. <laughs> and who was this? Selling star tokens. Oh, you could just straight up buy star tokens. Fascinating. We grow jalapenos and bell peppers next to each other one year, and they cross-pollinated and made jalapenos that taste like jalapeno but aren't spicy, and bell peppers that have bell pepper flavor but with a lot of spice. Oh my god, that can happen, yes, if you grow them too close. Oh boy. Those blades get sharper every year. So do his prices. How does it feel? I might have my job sometimes, but I take pride in my work. These are some of my finest pieces. I hope you like them. Good job, buddy. Okay, now I think I've talked to everybody. Oh, except Miss Caroline. 
who you all are falling over head over heels for. She does look pretty, doesn't she? Pierre is very serious about his green display. He's been setting aside the best looking portraits for weeks in preparation. Hey, best of luck to you if you enter. You know what I like about Caroline? <clears throat> she looks a little lopsided. Her spice is a tiny bit lopsided. Yes, those are the jalapenos we need for the poppers, indeed. Yeah. Well, Link, it's the big day. The most important festival of the year, the Stardew Valley Festival. If you'd like to participate, I'd love to have to stand for you. Get judging. All right, my tummy's tense. Do it. Oh, you gotta take your time, huh? Okay. I'm blocking Pierre stuff. I'm blocking it. I'm blocking it. I'm wiping. I'm smearing poop on it. Wow, how did all that poop get there? Oh my god. Pig poop, bird poop, human feces. That's wild. I can't believe all that feces is there. You know what? I think Twava was saying earlier, Tess, that um, Harvey is quite a cutie to date. How the poop, you better believe. Oh my god. <laughs> a whole bag of fertilizer ended up on your, your produce? That's so wild. I can't believe it. Game play has been judged. Okay, I got it. Won. You won first place with a ranking of 901. Your prize is a thousand star tokens, and don't forget to clean out your Grange display box. That's right, and I uh, don't need those tokens. That's right, Pierre. Oh, I have no room for the things that I have put on display. Oh no. Well, maybe, 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 maybe. Oh. Oh, damn it. Okay. All right. Um, goodbye plums. Gotta get the stuff back. Didn't think about that. I, I went a little too fierce on the, on the items over there. Harvey is a romantic, really? One of the Caroline dateable mods has a very dramatic divorce storyline. And if you make choices that comfort her, you become a full on homewrecker. Oh my god, the drama! The drama. You like Harvey, but there's no benefit if you pass out in the mines or around town. You'll still get charged, which you get from a healthcare standpoint, but yeah, it's a video game. That's your husband. He should be like, baby, I can't believe you passed out. It's okay. This band aid's on me. Well, I got a low score. I guess Mayor Lewis is much of a fishman. No will. Not until I make my dredge mod for this game and everybody comes meet from fishman. There's a madness setting into the bay. Well, I didn't win, but it was still satisfying to share all my hard work. And Pierre, how goes all the poop smeared over stuff? I can't believe someone smeared poop on my things. Anyway, Caroline, ditch this loser and get with our real winner. The champion of time. Me. You missed two hours of Stardew? Yes! But that's okay, there's still a few hours left to Stardew Valley. Don't worry about that, Lunatora. Still plenty of time left. I like this gal here with the pigtail. She's got a fun outfit. Alrighty, that's everybody. We're gonna go home and haul back all of our junk. And, uh, water some plants. Yikes! I gotta water everything. Come on, corn. Come on, broccoli. Well, 91 points. I think I did pretty spectacular. <clears throat> Harvey does have a great mustache. You know, I do really enjoy facial hair. I was so disappointed when I saw that my uncle had shaved his mustache. I was like, oh, I can't believe it. As someone who can't grow a mustache yet, I did have one hair that was somehow... I swear, I look for this thing every year. It shows up maybe once or twice a year. I have this this one thin piece of hair that grows right here on my face. I look for it every single day. And then yesterday, it was like a full inch long. Hair out of nowhere. That's the only facial hair I can grow. It's that one weird hair. So strange. But as someone who can't really grow much facial hair, I, I'm always like, why would you get rid of it? It looks so cool. But my Uncle Phil still looks pretty cool. There's nothing about a great mustache, right? Do you have a weird head like that too? Thank God. It's like, it disappears for a full year. And then it comes back and it's just like, now I'm suddenly overnight six inches long. Like, 
Wh how did you hide out? It's, it's like it leaves the country. And then it comes back to be like, ha ha ha, you thought you didn't have to deal with this hair. Well, guess what? I'm here. You have a lot of those really random white hairs. And then like one on your chin, you name Spike. That's a great name. Oh, my inventory is well. Yikes. Oh. Hold on. I'm storing whatever this is and I'm picking up whatever this is. Who are you? A blackberry. Great. Definitely essential. Can I make jelly from anything I have? No, so let's go. <clears throat> to bed we go. Sleepy times. You have alopecia. Yes, I remember that. But you grow one white hair that's about three inches long. I get the same thing. It's so strange. But your body's like, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're making the hair. Where do we put it? I don't know. On the cheek, maybe? Sure. Um, you feel like if you pass out, wake up in Harvey's clinic, your spouse should be there. That would be nice. Yes. That would be great. Yeah, your spouse should like burst through the doors like, oh my god, I heard that you passed out in the mines again. I feel like it should start some drama, Zelda. It should. All you can give right now is the 14-year-old boy mustache. Oh, but you're working on that, right, PBPN? That's okay. Maybe it'll thicken up over time. Oh, and you know who's rocking a 14-year-old boy mustache right now? Um, Paul Skeens. I think his name is Paul Skeens. Maybe it isn't. Um, he's a pitcher for the Pirates. It's either Scooble or Skeens. He's a pitcher. Oh, is Paul Skeens? Thank God I know somebody's name. <clears throat> Skeens has got that stash. Actually, it's a little thicker than the 14-year-old stash. I feel like it started off a little bristly. But you know what? It gets there in time. You think you've given up on it, PVPN? All right. I mean, you could. There's always time to experiment. There's always time. Oh God! Oh no! I'm using the wrong keyboard. Okay. Maybe, maybe a little bit of like mustache wax. Or I think there's like there's like some sort of little comb thing you can do to darken it. Not like mascara or whatever, but I think there's some sort of little combing activity you can do to like brush a little color into it. Maybe that'll help make it look thicker. Because I think your hair is like relatively light, right, PVPN? Because that might have something to do with it. Oh yeah, today is a day in which it is raining. Let me put my little welcome mat down here. The scarecrow. Oh, and some flowers by the door, obviously. Gotta have some dried sunflowers by the door. In terms of decorations, okay. <clears throat> we got our broccoli. Gotta put one of these eggplants at the uh, community center. Another lovely eggplant. Hope these pumpkins grow in time. Another apple de -app. Horns. Okay. Alrighty, let's see what we can sell. Let's keep just the one. Oh, we're selling some broccoli too. <clears throat> so the corn and the eggplant is at the community center. The wheat, let's sell some jelly. I think I can sell some cauliflower too. Achoo! Sorry about the sneeze. That just came on out of nowhere. <laughs> Mayonnaise, we can definitely sell. Melon jelly, <clears throat> I think we can sell. Let's. I am such a sucker for storing things in this game. I swear to God, I drive myself absolutely nuts. I sell. I store everything. I never sell anything. Um, you got like a lighter brown. You could probably get there with some minoxidil. Oh, but it's toxic to the little kitty cat. She likes to put her face on your face too much. I see. Yeah, you don't want the kitty cats rubbing off on that. Is that the stuff that they put in Rogaine? I have some, 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 some something like that. Helping my brother with his hair, too. We've been doing that for a few months, and it's been working. So. As a full beard haver at the age of 16, you recommend shaving what you do have frequently and using a mild soap. A mild soap as shaving cream. Interesting. And you feel like that helps you grow things thick, huh? The same stuff. Gotcha. Yeah, so that could help. Yeah. 
If that is your dream, PBPN. But I know we all have different dreams. Need a little bit of hardwood. We got to get a better axe, I think. It might be a good day for axes and mines. Oh, but I'm going to the mines. Let's make some pickled corn. Sure. Not pickled wheat, though. That's absurd. What am I... Oh, obviously blueberry jelly. Like, you even have to ask. I'm making blueberry jelly. Put the bloobs back in. Take these out, because I gotta go get those appraised. Get the CD. And, uh, let's see what kind of stuff... I'm not really making the most here of my, uh... My lovely little machines I have. So let's start making some iron bars. And let's also grab whatever copper stuff I can, because I do want to make copper thingies. So how do I make thingies? Oh, that's my thingy machine? I need more thingy machines. St 20? Okay, I'll just wait. That's why. We'll use our eggies up. <clears throat> make some four-star man eggs. Okay, let's the hair come in coarser and thicker. You're trying to be Harvey at the end of the day. I hope you can make it work. PVPN, I think you can make it work. I believe in you. Especially with a little help from Manny, who is apparently a professional beard grower. I think you can get there. Oh, yes, we need 10 bat wings for this, like, board, this community board. <clears throat> I'm going to store our milk because we can't make milk yet. Store the cake. Store the star fruit. Store the maple syrup. This goes to the community center. One of these go to the community center. I think there's something else. Up. Oh, did we just zoom in? I need to be more careful about that. Uh, position three, Tiny. Thank you, Tiny. <sighs> see if there's anything else that goes to the community center. There. Oh. Oh, yes, the bat wings. Yes, we know. The eggplant. Yes. <clears throat> Any more parsnips? Okay, good. Nothing in this bag. Oh, the three apples as well go to the community center. Gotta remember that. Take another little... Oh, I think I need a hundred slime, so we're a little ways away from that. Need more hardwood as well. We need to work on that. Okay, nothing there. All right, well, everything is watered. Let's check on the babies. <gasps> After, of course, I feed the dog, because it is dog feeding time. You get derma rolling. Is that that stuff where you get, like, a rose quartz little, like, steamroller, but tiny? And you just go, like, blah, 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 blah. That might be good for, like, stimulating the face. That's possible. Your beard is like black thoughts from Roots. That's a great beard. A spectacular beard. Um, all right, y'all. I need to send us over to the duck screen and play us some music. Oh, it's a needle roller. Interesting. That would do even more to like stimulate the skin to make it be like, all right, something is poking us. Let's poke it back with some hair. <laughs> all right, y'all. Thank you for hanging out so far. Enjoy the ducks. And when I come back, uh, I will have had a snack and fed the dog, and we will go milk the cows. See y'all. I shouldn't even ask. I know it's what that's for, as if. Alrighty, we are back from the break. <clears throat> I think I'm just placing a few scarecrows, and then... Oh, I was about to milk the cows, that's right, but let me also place this crow. This crow. Mm -hmm. I know that's exactly what you're doing, so. Let's check on the girls. Oh, they need some hay. I know they do. Oh, she's looking sleepy today. Here's some feed for y'all. Gotta pet the ladies. And I gotta milk the ladies. Skinny bit of milk. Oh, I see. You mean, you mean to say that you feel like metaphorically you're home when you see that cow rave. I'm sorry, the moogle rave. Not the cow rave. <laughs> I think about cows. I'm milking the cows. Oh, you're halfway saved up to the clown makeup. Oh, Boy, wow. Uh, surely nothing can entice you to maybe not use those points to clown makeup, but I will do it as needed, I suppose. 
That's a lot of eggs, ladies. Damn, I guess I haven't been checking these eggs out for a bit. Morning. Little cutie patooties. It's a hell of a lot of eggs you got there, ladies. Oh god, Mars. Maybe not today. It would be so late in the day to redeem the clown makeup. <clears throat> You'd hardly be getting your money's worth. Do you want to eat the large egg? Oh, I don't have room to make the stuff. Okay. I'd like to make five more bars, but I honestly think maybe we'll just go over right now and drop off one of the bars to my man. One of the things, like the pickaxe or something like that. We'll do that. Maybe we'll do the axe and we'll do the pickaxe tomorrow because today's a great day for mining. You're used to redeeming the points five minutes before the end of the show. Very true. Very true, Mars. I hope you've been having a good day as well. Your oldest brother has seen Army of Darkness. Yeah, what did he think of it? A yes, and thank you, Smee. I am doing really well today. It was great to see, um... It was great to see the guys. And, uh, it's probably the last big visit for a while. Though my aunt is visiting on Sunday. So we can talk a little more about, you know, what's... What course would be best for my dad's health and happiness for his uh, treatment? So that might be a bit of a heavy visit, but it's not going to be like a God, we got to prepare kind of thing, you know? Oh my God, Alice. <clears throat> you have enough for eight clown makeups. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Halloween is coming, so it might be good to save up for then. But dang, wow. Holy cow. The second time this should be contemplated putting in a milking cow emote. Oh yeah, show us the milking cow emote. I'd like to see it. I I suppose that is a thing that one can make an emote of. <sighs> I didn't bring my damn tools. Oh, what's what the hell is it? Oh. You know I never got this. Mom hangs out with a lot of her yoga friends. Um, and uh, mom has some friends from her younger days as well. <clears throat> um, she's very partial to her stepsister. Uh, and she's had friends that used to be flight attendants too. And um, just gals she's known from the past. So, But she doesn't hang out too much with them. But I, I feel like if maybe she reached out to them. Maybe they'd, uh, they'd respond. But maybe, uh, maybe I can encourage her to do something like that. Okay. <laughs> that is wild. I guess that's a baby lamb suckling on a mama sheep. I guess. I mean, what else are you going to use that emote? <clears throat> All right. Ryan says, I can't speak for others, but I would feel worse if you were rushing back and forth and not taking at least five minutes every half hour or hour to make sure I was taking care of myself. Recognize this is my job, but my health is also important. Thank you, Ryan, for getting on that soapbox. I do appreciate it, actually. Um, I think, I, you know, I was pretty good at getting up and stretching once an hour, but I've kind of faltered at that. And sometimes when I see the stretch redemption, I'm like, oh, let, let me do the quickest thing I possibly can. I think what I need to do is build it back into the show and do a little stretch break, you know? That's right, Alice. I took off the Pikachu onesie because it was getting so hot. So the clown makeup isn't replacing it, but it was getting so hot in my room. It was like a, approaching like 80, 85 degrees. So having the onesie on was bad for the health uh but now that it's starting to cool off a bit i might be able to bring it back soon at least by october all right let's give these appies Ding. potential clown pikachu in the future that sounds like a terrifying combo oh a heater for the cows perfect timing you think the best way to do it is during ad breaks that's a good idea i only feel bad because it's like I also don't want to feel like it's punishing folks who are subscribed or who do already have Twitch Turbo. Like, I don't want them to feel like... Because they, the folks who are subscribed or do have Twitch Turbo are supporting me. I don't want them to have to feel like, oh, I have to wait because uh, there's an ad running so some folks can't see. You know? P-Clown shoe. 
Be clown shoes. Okay, I have the bat wings for this. <gasps> Damn, you don't even need these two? Is that new? Is this an update? <clears throat> I feel like the adventures bundle required all four of these. Hmm. That's true. Take an extra five minutes for the tasty Sammy. Oh, I may tell you, it was a good sandwich, Ryan. It was a good ass sandwich. So good. Oh, I need that for my thing. Mm. Pikachu does have red cheeks. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, I was doing it for a while. I remember doing the thing during the ad breaks for a while. So I, maybe I'll get back to that, Zelda. But we do have ad breaks three times an hour here, I, I think. No, it's once every 28 minutes, which should just be twice. We'll see. Um, however often it is happening. It is happening. Ah, oh, damn, I already gave him a damn apples. Crumbs. But I sure do have a lot to give these folks today. Need a big milk. Okay. Yeah, I should get back into the stretching. At least physically getting up would be a good idea, I think, Zelda. Uh, let me tell you what I told my therapist during the session today. Um, you aren't responsible. Oh, what was that? What your therapist told you, or did you tear up tell your therapist that you're not responsible for how others react? That's true. Oh, that's something I gotta work on, honestly, because I I am always trying to protect everybody's feelings. It's worked out for me so far. Give your poor butt and back stretch soapbox. I guess everyone's got the soapbox out, huh? Um. It's the kind of self-care I deserve to take for myself. All right, I'll take better care for myself. I promise. Oh, I gotta go back to the farm. Uh, this was gonna be a great day for mining if I brought literally anything I could use to mine. But instead, to the mines, I brought 5,000 eggs. 5,000 eggs. Big milk, indeed. Big milk. That's me Marty's birthday. How about that? Oh, interesting. Okay, so you told your therapist that because you had that realization today. Love that. <clears throat> Does it feel like that sunk in for you, Zelda? Or do you think that's something that you're going to have to really process for a while? Because, like, I feel like that's something my therapist told me maybe last session. And I'm like, but I, but I can maybe control it by doing everything right. <laughs> Even hearing myself say that, I'm like, everything right? Like, you never make a mistake? She even said something like that, like, um, so you think you just never make mistakes? And I'm like, yeah, I very rarely make a mistake. <laughs> so, there's no issue if I don't make mistakes. That's your number one hated Christmas song? <clears throat> it is obnoxious, me. It's maybe the most obnoxious Christmas song. However, there's an Irish version of it, which I really enjoy. Uh... And the character's name is Govnet O'Shaughnessy. And he he's writing to Dear Lola. Thank you for the partridge in a pear tree. I've put it in the living room next to Mother. And uh, um, just, just his reaction to getting so many birds in his house. His poor mother's. Oh my god, of course I could link it course i think also the singer's last name might be kelly so no relation though it might be michael kelly let's see here uh 12 days of christmas irish yeah frank kelly let me tell you i'm not gonna play this on stream but this is the business so funny uh and it's also got the lyrics down there oh wait no it doesn't it should have lyrics, though. One of these will, maybe. Loved this. Love this song so much. I listen to it every year. <clears throat> the poor mother it is driven to drink because of these damn geese. One of them has broken her arms. The uh, eleven lords of leaping are out there with the ten maids of milking causing all kinds of havoc. Yeah, that's my 2,601st cousin once removed. Uh, uh, the Kellys have a rich Irish heritage, indeed. 
Um, my my uh, the my grandma loved hearing um, Danny Boy, indeed on St. Patrick's Day. You have to listen to it later. It's the best version. It's very funny. So that clicked with you, as a recovering people pleaser. You made that conclusion on your own. Yeah, I think I'm not there yet, Zelda. I still really feel like. I still feel that I am pretty much in control, but like, even saying that, I know that's not psych that's psychologically impossible. Um, so I need to work on it. I just don't. In theory, I understand it, but in practice, I'm not there yet. At your job, you set store playlists, but you can add songs to a favorites list. So last year, when you had the holiday playlist, you favorited "All I Want for Christmas," and it's a ten-minute version. You can't change songs once it starts. Every time it randomly pops on, you think it's so funny. <laughs> you make your employees lose their minds for 10 minutes. Is it like, oh, is it like, all I want for Christmas is you? Is it the Mariah Carey song? Or is it like, all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth? Like, is it that? Please do, Smee. It, you, you will appreciate it more than you, than the current iteration of, um, because it's just, it's not much going on. Even the Muppets tried to make the 12 Days of Christmas good, and it's just like, well, it's just Miss Piggy saying five gold rings. It's not changing it too much. But this one, he's not singing the song. He's writing a letter to this person who keeps sending him things. And he just increasingly grows irate and starts cussing them out. Oh, my God. I mean, that's the one. That is the Christmas song, to be fair, uh, 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 probably for not. And once the season rolls in, a.k.a. the first day of October, <clears throat> because I just combine all the holidays together and I celebrate them all at once. Um, once October hits, I'm singing that song. <sighs> Hearing it call out in August is jarring. <laughs> yeah, the little jing, 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 jing. You're going to say that for features me to listen to. Okay. What is the concept of Christmas in July? Well... Christmas in July, it's six months before Christmas actually happens. So, I think it's mostly marketing, Zelda. Not even start. It's like, well, also, <clears throat> it's when the Southern, Southern Hemisphere has their winter time. So, if someone wants to get those winter vibes and they're in, like, Australia, June and July is the time for that. Oh, no worries. To be fair, you're good. Yeah, we call we gotta call them sleigh bells in the queer community. Exactly, PPPN. Gotta get the branding. I don't think we have time to like get these things gilded and also go to the thing. What do I need again to make cheese? Oh, damn hardwood. Okay, that's pretty critical. Let's go improve this axe. I think that's important. <clears throat> So I think it might be a combination of those two things. Um, one, the Southern Hemisphere being cold at that time of year. And two, um, marketing purposes. Like, hey, there's no major religious holiday now to make you spend money. What if we just pretend it's Christmas again? Even though it was Christmas six months ago. And it will be Christmas again. Oh, wait. Is somebody putting uh, lanterns out here? Is this new? I can see Facey's graves. That's wild. That's kind of cool. Pierre's Prime Produce. Um, nowhere I can find 25 gold star veggies. <clears throat> I'm going to accept this ocean fish thing from Demetrius instead. Still fine. Yeah, what Tina said, you didn't realize. And you sometimes forget that the southern hemisphere is in summer for like the next few months. Yeah. And has been that way for millions of years. It's sometimes a surprise to me, but I mean, we have a, a global community here, so we have folks from the Southern Hemisphere who are like, just busted out the coat today, and I'm like, why? It's June. <laughs> and then it's like, oh crap, that's right, you're in New Zealand. Please upgrade my axe, because I want to get that hardwood. You know I gotta be making cheese soon. Do we have time to go to the mines? Maybe we can clear like five. And now I want to say five golden rings. Uh, five levels. 
Sleigh bells, I like that pine. There you go. That sounds like a great, like, um, I don't know, like a stream team or like a drag team or something like that. I feel like that could work out. The sleigh bells. But they're all like, you know, dressed as elves or something. It's funny too because your family's all in Brazil, Pi. And during Christmas time, they still show advertisements that have like a snowy aesthetic. And it's like 90 degrees. Yeah. A warm rain is the pleasant way to get clean. I hear that, brother. You want some melon jelly? Joy. That's like a really expensive gift, but you know. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to get away from that on in on Christmas, but if you're just churning out whatever advertisements <clears throat> suit the northern hemisphere, I mean Brazil is huge. The population of Brazil is huge, Pi. You would think that there would be a devoted, um, I don't have any weapons. I'm wasting time, y'all. You know, I might as well just go in here for the rocks. Let's just do it for the rocks. Oh, good, another floor. Hey, I'll make some progress soon. Frame perfect slime dodge. Did you freaking see that? Killing it. You'd think that someplace as dense as Brazil, like as population dense as Brazil, that they would have their own um, market, an ad market that knows that Christmas is going to be hot. But I'm guessing they got a lot of advertisement from uh, probably the US market. Or are these commercials all in like Portuguese? Ah, uh, pipelines. You don't know a Christmas song or story offhand that mentions... Yeah, there should be more that mentions, like, you know, half of the world is pretty hot right now. Wait, okay, hold up. I do know a movie that does cover that. All of the other reindeer, of course. All of the other reindeer, I do believe, shows Christmas time at some point uh, being summertime for the folks in the Southern Hemisphere. About to get absolutely wrecked by the slime. I might have to evacuate. Hi, Chihuahua. If I get lucky, <clears throat> there's a chance I might find this without having to kill anybody. But I really am in a bad way without a sword here. It is Olive. The other reindeer, such as the food. Olive. But the whole movie is about mishearing what someone is saying. So, Olive thinks that um, she hears on the radio Santa saying, I'm going to need all of the other reindeer to come help me. But in reality, Santa is saying that he needs all of the other reindeer to perhaps save Christmas. Um, but... Uh, Olive, the other ranger, also mishears her owner. I think his name is like John or Don or Dan or something like that. Um, she can't really hear him <clears throat> through her doghouse. She thinks he's saying like uh, that she's not a very good dog and that he doesn't know why he uh, got her. But he's saying like, you're a really good dog and I don't know why I got mad at you. But like, sh she threw her friend who's a flea. Uh, misinterprets what he's saying and it's heartbreaking and then she goes on an adventure she's like maybe I'm not a dog maybe I am a reindeer I'm gonna go help Santa and then everyone's like I'm not a reindeer she keeps getting misunderstood everywhere she goes it's a great flick and I think Drew Barrymore is the dog <clears throat> it's a star sided cast it's made by the folks who made the Simpsons and whatnot uh, there's great musicals the guy who does Homer's voice is an evil postman um it's a great flick. There's a penguin named Martini who's selling fake Rolex watches. So watch it. It's a good film. So in Brazil, there are some advertisements that are summery, especially for like beer or whatnot. But they do a lot of Santa Claus in the fuzzy red and white suit. It's so deep that when your younger cousins came to visit on winter break, they were excited because you had a fireplace just like in the commercials. That's cool. Yeah, maybe it was like John or Don or Dan or Jan or Sam or Ada Wong. It's all 
had a name like that. I'm giving you movie suggestions. I am real about Christmas. Don't even start about Christmas. The movie is called All Live the Other Reindeer, is if. It's a good ass film. I watch it pretty much every year. That and Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, you know about that because I mention it every year. Is it a movie night contender for December? Maybe. Um, the part of the problem is I usually watch it with my family, so I might make time to watch it with you all. You'll, we'll see. Might have to be independent watching for you all, though. Well, that was a bogus trip to the mines. I think we should just maybe focus our efforts on making more bars. You're out of here. Oh my gosh. PBPN, it's always a delight to catch up with you. Thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate you, and I hope you kill it at the gym. Uh, so good to see you. Come by whenever you so desire. We're always happy to have you. Let's see. Do I have... I knew I had more eggs. I knew those eggs were hiding from me. It's slamming these eggs. And then, there we go. And now we can already make another copper ore. Heck yeah. <clears throat> I think we have enough. We'll have enough. Oh, we will have enough to make the pickaxe whenever we can. <sighs> and I think I can make another piece of trash refined. Perfect. Oh, this is going smooth. That is a big hazelnut. It for sure is. God, I can't wait till we can make cheese in this game. My ultimate desire, cheese. Ooh, spooky frog's out today. Poor Link. I feel like he should have an umbrella. Are there umbrellas in this game? Feels like there should be. Oh wait, also, just came here, I didn't notice you redeemed, um, the stretch time. And Ryan, did I thank you for the, uh, fit the 20 stream streak? By the way, I don't think I did. Thank you so much. Can you believe it's close to Halloween? Yes. Anything can happen on Halloween. Your sister could turn into a bat. You never know. Anything can happen on Halloween. Uh, I'm so excited for Halloween. I almost set up our eight foot skeleton just so like my uncles could come see it for real. And it's September 13th. There's nothing to see there. I saw it though. There should be umbrellas if there's rain. Otherwise, your character will get sick, right? That's what I'm talking about, Chilliams. I don't want our, our folks getting sick. I think you're right. I think Concerned Ape is a sicko. Because he's not letting us have umbrellas. Let me do a little stretch while we wait for this stuff to cook. <clears throat> it's hard to stretch in a straw hat. I don't know how Luffy does it. I think I'm finally getting better, y'all. I think my hips are really getting better. I'm very happy to say. The rubber arms help. You know what? You're right about that. That's how he does do it. <clears throat> oh no, my man's getting sleepy. I forgot about time. Yes, I'm so excited for Halloween. <coughs> I want to do fun stuff for the stream. I want to do um, the Ada Wong cosplay, of course. Probably next Wednesday, but maybe also again, depending on how good or bad I do it. Uh, next Wednesday. Maybe I can do it again or better uh, for Halloween. I want to do some like fun Halloween like kitschy little snacks. I want to do that. Oh my god. My mic is going everywhere. I just love Halloween so much. Okay, but I don't love falling asleep outside, so we're going to go inside. <clears throat> Oh yeah, the Halloween snacks are gonna be fun as hell. Where the heck is my cat? Did my cat run away? Look at that good farming stuff. Let's get into the details of this. 
<laughs> that mayo money. I'm making mayo money. 4,000 mayonnaise related dollars. That's incredible. <clears throat> I was telling my mom, let's make some like fun, weird Rice Krispies treat snacks. And she was like, no, we would never eat that many Rice Krispies. She does not understand my desire for Rice Krispies. <laughs> I have a very strong need for them at all times. My favorite Halloween candy. I'm a sicko, Chilliams. The older I get, the more I appreciate those weird ones. The really cheap ones that only old ladies have. Like the little, like, weird, like, peanut butter ones. Or like Mary Jane's or whatever. Because I can eat candy any day of the year. And I don't want to. But. <clears throat> candy corn. Mary Jane's. The little black and uh, orange ones that are just, like, wrapped in wax paper or whatever. I could get into that. I can get into that. I can get excited by that. Candy corn. I love candy corn. Oh, God. I love it. I love it when they make candy corn, but they don't shave it like corn. They shave it like a pumpkin or something like that. Something fall and festive. It's so fun. I'm a big sucker for that. <gasps> Look at these big ass pumpkins. Yes. Oh boy, those were four not gold star pumpkins, sadly. That's a bummer. Yeah, I think it's like a peanut butter treat or something. You have candy corn here. What's it like? Um, hmm. Have you ever had like that wax lips candy? Which is literally just like wax with flavor in it. <laughs> Which I can't believe is a candy, but hey, times were tough back in the day. So candy corn is a little bit waxy. It's like eating a delicious crayon. Although I didn't really chew on crayons when I was a kid. Um, it's, it's really chewy like wax. Hardly any flavor to it, just kind of tastes sweet. But it's festive. It's festive. And that's, I'm a sucker for the festivities. Okay, telling me it's our candy. I listen, I don't need anybody else in the world to eat this but me. Alright, I'm gonna go to my local farm and get their big, ugly 50 pound bag of this crap. Only eat a little bit of it and then throw the rest away. I know myself. Actually, I know my mom. She's the one who buys it. Because she loves it too. You bet. <clears throat> a maypole would loosen up workout tension. You can't remember the last time you saw one. Oh, damn. Yeah, that would be great, right? Why did they get rid of those? Were kids like hurting themselves on these? Could you like accidentally like herniate your disc or something on this? But that would be fun, right, Lurky? If you take candy corn pieces and arrange them, you can remake the shape of a corn cob. Yes, yeah, so it can. Wouldn't that be fun? No way, Pie. Twitch keeps pushing ads for candy corn on you. Is it the Brocks? I remember last year they were doing Brocks ads as well. I would see them all the time on Twitch too. Um. It was, it was so bizarre because it would be like, treat yourself to some candy corn. They're like, remember how good candy corn was? <laughs> it's got to be Brox, yeah. You guys mentioned that you got the remainder of your pre-order. Oh, the reminder of your pre-order for the new Zelda yesterday. Yes! Excellent. Oh my god, when is that coming out? I hope you enjoy. I hope it's good. I'm, I'm wondering if it's going to be too much platforming for me to enjoy. I'm not a... I'm not a platforming girl. I'm sorry. I bet kids would fly off pretty far sometimes. And congrats on your 60 stream streak. By the way, Lurky, look at that little dumpy go. Delicious mediocrity, like a McRib. Yeah, do people like McRib? I've never had it before. You've never been on that side of ads for candy corn, yeah? I've seen it. I get ads to talk about on candy corn because they know that I'm 30 and they know that I'm 30. Like 30 as in like, oh, you could eat some dirty tacos right now, couldn't you? And 30 as in like, you're old enough to get nostalgic for crap. Enjoy our candy corn. And I'm like, and yes, I will. You know? You think, oh, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Mimic rib is definitely more of like a, oh, it's limited edition. Let me go get this kind of thing. I think. I don't know. I haven't had one, so I, I can't intelligently articulate why people would like it. 
You had to make room for the first time this year. It was kind of awful. You're expecting kind of... <clears throat> so sorry about all these coughs, y'all. You're expecting sweet, tangy barbecue. What was it? What did it taste? It, it was not sweet and tangy? <gasps> oh, the chickens are pissed. I did not feed them. Shoot. I forgot I don't have the automatic chicken feeder. Poor starving babies. Ugh. Imagine, if you will, a sad pork patty. Ugh. Hello, Snake. Good to see you. Appreciate the lurk. My chickens are pissed off at me, Snake. They're mad as hell. They are mad as hell. They didn't feed him yesterday. Totally understandable, honestly. I fed the cows. Did not feed the chickies. I was neglecting the babies. I am going to put a heater in here. I'll put it right in that square smack dab in the center. <clears throat> I would love to see the cows cuddling up to it. It's like a sad pork patty with lukewarm barbecue sauce. Dear, that ain't right. Milk on the wrong end of the cow. Kind of salty and smack. Interesting. It was quite a while back. We were expecting the hype. Yeah, because everyone makes a big deal about it. I re what the hell is that? Whoa, I got a big mushroom on my farm. What is this? Hold on. My tree's a mushroom. Y'all, I got a big ass mushroom. What happened? That's a big mushroom. I can't cut it down because I gave my pick my regular axe to the the man who makes the axe stuff happen. I'm a bad chicken mom, Chilliams. Ugh, I feel awful. I I did I go in there? They didn't have any eggs, right? Because I didn't feed them. Yeah, that's understandable, ladies. I'm so sorry. Did you see that mushroom? Yeah, that. I don't think that tree needs any introduction to the mushroom function. <clears throat> Yes, how did I how did it happen, Alice? You know? I'm very intrigued by this cool mushroom tree. A little wawa. Oh, speaking of mushrooms, let's go check in on our little mushroom experiments. How are you doing down here, mushrooms? Getting full. We got some dried mushrooms as well. Oh, yeah, I love this tune. This is a good one. So this is the one that's not growing. I have to, like, carve this area out so that it can grow. Let's get some trash. Let me sort a bunch of stuff, though. Uh, and where is my trash? Blah, blah, blah. Here's some trash. Some broken glasses. I guess I could, what does this one do? Oh, that's the coal thing, right? You give it some wood, it gives you some coal. I don't quite need coal yet. <sighs> the unstoppable yawn. Hmm, hardwood. We need hardwood. I also want to make the bee house. Wood, coal, one iron bar, and maple syrup. I can make that happen. Let me grab that wood, coal. Now, how much coal are we talking here? Oh, eight. That's fine. Okay, let's yeah, let's make it happen. Why not? One of these, some wood. Where is the wood? Here's the wood. Wood, coal, iron bar, maple syrup. I'm gonna find the maple syrup. Here we go. Let's make a little bee house. Oh, bee house. So cute. We're getting productive out here. There we go. Okay, my little bees. I'm gonna go buy some flower seeds for my little bees. <gasps> my baby. I gotta water the baby. Hello, baby. Please don't get mad at me like the chickens are. And oh, I'm gonna grab my sword. Let's let's um maybe process this geode. 
And perhaps grab the sword. I have a good pumpkin though. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I need pumpkins. Okay, I'm gonna put that away for now. God, I love these tunes. They're so good. Store this and that. <clears throat> Store the apple. And I need the sword. And maybe a fishing rod, you never know. And maybe this hoe. Yeah, okay. There's a 5% chance of an event making a mushroom tree in the fall. That's so cool. What what comes of this mushroom tree? What will become what will become of this mushroom tree? My girl, why are you here? Do you like some refined quartz? I actually don't care if you don't want it. I don't know, girl. You seem like the type that likes crystals. Why don't you go like, I don't know, turn that into some sort of bong or something? Whatever girls do, I don't know. Women, am I right? Always making bongs. And rolling trays. Nothing's just fall quite like a pumpkin, don't you think? Nothing's supposed to say. No one wants my help. That's terrible. Oh, yes. Didn't I already assist somebody? Did I get the reward for... Uh... I gotta catch 20 ocean fish. Christ. Maybe we can see that today. You love mushrooms as food, IRL? Same. I love them so much. So good. My mom when, once went on a diet. It required her to eliminate mushrooms from her food. And it was one of the hardest things I think she ever had to do. You know, maybe. Just maybe. Oh, he's still working on the axe. Okay, I thought maybe he would do two at once for us. Could I perhaps just go... Let's go get 20 ocean fish. Let's do that. I'll go to the mines another day. So many people are like, ew, mushrooms. Like, I get it. Some folks, you know, you like what you like, you don't like what you like. I get it. But I'm a big mushroom fan. They're so meaty and delicious. Yeah, she had to give them up for a little while. And give up foods that were like... Fungus adjacent. <clears throat> My mom's been on a bunch of different diets. Trying to find something that worked for her. Um, but they don't make you happy. Diets usually don't make you happy. So she chose happiness instead of dieting. And I think that's great for her. I like the flavor of mushrooms, but the texture you don't like it. I see. Uh, it's very dense, you know. You're happy to find the mushroom function enjoyer? You better believe it. What is your favorite kind of mushroom, to be fair? Have you tried enoki mushrooms? They're like long and skinny. Okay, does this count? <clears throat> Hell yeah! Sea cucumbers are technically fish. Because we don't really know what fish are, honestly. Fish is a very loose definition of stuff that you can find in the water that lives there. Your favorite mushroom is any that's on someone else's plate, I see. What's been what's been a food that you're like, there's a mushroom in this? Whenever I have like a beef stew and there's a mushroom in there, I am a mushroom enjoyer, but I don't think beef stews are for mushrooms. That's a no from me. Because it adds, like, an earthiness to it that I don't feel like needs to be there. I like mushrooms sautéed and put on steak, though. That's a good application of mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms are great, yeah. Those are the big ones, right? It's funny because I think Enoki literally translates to mushroom. Or at least is like a kind of mushroom. I can't remember. But yeah. Do you love all kinds of shroomies? We most often get those little white, you know, baby bella mushrooms. The button kind. No, portabellas are the big ones. I don't know if shiitakes are big. It's like shiitake, enoki, wood ear, oyster, portobello, and cremini. Cremini. Are creminis the, like the little button ones? I don't think I've had wood ear or oyster mushrooms. Mushroom Swiss. Perfection. Yeah. 
Lion's made. I don't think I've had lion's made either. I can't believe I'm not catching these fish. Too easy thinking about ding dang mushrooms. Have you ever, like, got your own mushrooms, Ryan? Like, have you ever gone foraging for them? I've seen there's some mushrooms growing on the back of, um, uh, a cut down tree that we have. But I am not brave enough to start eating mushrooms. I think y'all would absolutely come to my funeral and yell at me if I ate mushrooms that killed me. Given all the stuff that I already eat, that's probably like a little, <laughs> a little on the, a little on the dodgy side. I think y'all would be so pissed off if I ate like a mushroom that killed me. <laughs> It would be, it would be maybe my worst decision yet. Seaweed. I don't need any wee seeds. So I haven't, I'm not going to eat this mushroom growing on the back of the tree. Just to give you all some comfort. I know slightly better than that, but it does look like one of those edible kinds. Please practice food safety. I do in most things, just sometimes leaving food out on the counter. You would be driven mad by my brother, though. He, um, he loves a specific honey mustard from the pizza place that I get the same chicken strips from. <clears throat> but he doesn't like it refrigerated. He feels like the texture goes weird when he refrigerates it, so he just keeps it out for days. And I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know if that's, that's even a bridge too far for me. Little ratfish. I'm not gonna catch this one, I don't think. Oh, he's really trying to give me a slip. I almost had him there, too. This thing hurts my tummy. Oh my god, we caught this weird fish. It's an albacore, thank God. I know. I know, Smee. That's why I'm going to try to avoid doing it as much as I can. Mushrooms are risky because fungal networks can be miles wide. So sometimes safe mushrooms can still be dangerous, depending on what other mushrooms are growing in the area. Wow. I had no idea about that, Solitary Jordan. That's interesting. Getting stomach aches and worse from eating bad food is just not worth it for you. Yeah, same. But it hasn't happened yet from them chicken strips. You can definitely see if you can get some lion's made somewhere. It cooks and tastes like a steak, and it's super juicy and good, Ryan. It does have some psychotropic qualities that people are selling for, like, brain. Oh, my God, lion's mane. Yes, I have heard of that as a supplement. Interesting. And you haven't gone foraging? You don't think it's the season for it, but you're not opposed to it. Yeah, I feel like fall might be a fun season for it. But, yeah. I would say if you're ever going to go foraging and try eating mushrooms, you got to go with a guide. And there's like local guides everywhere. Go to somebody who's like certified in some way, not just, you know, some guy on Craigslist. Make sure they're not out there like, I think this is Lion's Mane, but it could also be the one that kills you dead in half an hour. Not really sure. Why don't you give it a bite? Okay, we're kind of crushing it on this uh, sea fish thing. Oh, I want to check the journal instead. Okay. All right. I say a few more fish. Maybe we'll head back home at ten. Local guys, yeah. There's local guys for everything. I think this is a wily one. I've heard so. The same as we experience. I've heard you can get like starters. You can like grow them straight up out of a bag or something. Like they send you a bag of those things. You've seen recycled uh, grow boxes from uh, recycled cardboard and newspaper that are cool. You can even stick them in your garage or basement. Yeah. That's interesting. So the safest way to experiment with fresh mushrooms is grow your own isolated grow box. Mm hmm. When you first tried it, Lion's Mane, you got a few small pieces cheaper, and you did salt, pepper, and oil with Lion's Mane in the oven. And you're shocked with how juicy it tasted. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting hungry for mushrooms now, right? 
I think we have some frozen chopped mushrooms. Maybe I'll saute this up tomorrow. If I have the time for the show, we'll see. Oh, it's 10. We gotta go back home. Time is just slip, slip, slipping by. Still plenty of time left in the show, though. It's only 8.20. Can you get out of here? Oh, Lord, I'm stuck in, I'm stuck in the graveyard. Hmm. Man, Stardew Valley in fall is such a vibe. It might be my favorite season of the game. No, the show is still late. So you need to get tasty mushrooms. I don't have tasty mushrooms right now. I can't just take a break and uh, go saute up some. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow, though. Let's slam another pair of glasses in here while we have the time. Another bar of iron. Cooking on the fire. And let's sell some of our, uh, our stuff. Hold up now. Let me see if that albacore is necessary. It's not. It is a big juicy fish. But none of that is necessary. For the sake of our our community. Alright, little bees. Make some beautiful honey. <coughs> oh, it's getting late. Okay. The bees are sleeping. Good night, meow meow. Damn, I made no money. <coughs> no money farming. I thought I'd make so much more money fishing. The fish I brought in, that albacore, it was so hard to catch and it was just 93 cents. I'm going to bed. Just kidding, I'm not going to do that. Not going to burn a beautiful fall day. Clear and sunny tomorrow, okay. I think our axe should be ready. Link, I'd like to buy a pumpkin from you. Oh, Christ, did I save one? My daughter and I want to carve a jack o' lantern for the upcoming Spirits and Festival. Oh, yeah, 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 Chihuahua. Ooh, the little pumpkin. Ooh. Did I save them? Did I sell four pumpkins? Oh, yeah, I saved them. Yay! I saved a pumpkin! I'm so smart! Thank goodness. Ugh. It would be so me to sell it though. Be like, don't hoard items, Tina. Okay, what is that dookie brown thing? Gross. That's wild. That thing looks gnarly. We got our beautiful apple though. Don't mind if I do. In a few years, it'll be growing more apples. Alright, now to water. I guess winter would be a good time to improve our, uh... Our thingy. Our, our watering can. Because I won't have to be watering much in the winter. We're just getting hella refined quartz, too, by the way. I feel like the broken glasses- Thank god I saved up all those broken glasses. All that trash- Oh god, now I sound- I sound like I've inherited the, the hoarding disorder. I need to not talk like that. Thank goodness I kept all these broken glasses. Um, at least in this game, with infinite storage, it has proven to be a wise choice. But in general, I think it's okay to throw out a few glasses. Especially the ones that you break. We'll recycle the rest of these chopped up glasses, though, into some beautiful refined quartz. And then go check on the girls. <clears throat> Do I have just enough water to water my... Look at how just yucky my, my farm looks right now. Oh my god. It is quite yucky. All the weird patches. My my farm's going through a lot, okay? It's going through a lot of stress. It's lost a good bit of vegetation up top. But you know what? It's still got some charm to it. Good morning, ladies. Do I have my bucket? I don't. I'll be back with the bucket shortly, ladies. Hello, Pastel. Good to see you. 
Taking a late work break. How much later do you have to work, Pastel? How are we doing in the do? Having such a great time, Pastel. Thank you for asking. Uh, do you have any favorite mushrooms, Pastel? We were just talking about mushies. Any faves for you? Or are you not a mushroom kind of person? Ah, oh, we store our apple. Oh. And let's sell some broccoli too. God, this broccoli looks so good. Oh no, it's infinite storage because the sublimates most of himself into subspace. Interesting. When he shapeshifts into a small thing like a cup or a rat, he sublimates himself into subspace. How does that work? Okay, gotcha. So you only have to work for like 35 more minutes, but you're taking a little break right now. You get distracted by a call and people needing help, I bet. Oh, hello, Kriana. I hope you ladies aren't disappointed with me. Of course, you can never be disappointed with me. Hinakos. Okay, I've never had a Hinako mushroom. Shupo's doing good. Trona's looking good today, too. Miss Trona. Usually allowed 15 minutes for four hours. And you try to take it in the middle. Yes, usually. I think the chickens are back to loving me. Because Oh, wow, they are tearing up that grass. Wow. Whoa. Oh, Kinoko. Okay. Because I think Kinoko is like a woman's name. But Kinoko mushrooms I have heard of. Yeah. They're good in soup. That sounds divine. I don't know if I've had a lot of mushrooms and soups. Maybe, would that be in like a light bra? We don't know how it works, but the writer has actually proposed that in response to how Odo changes. Okay, so there's there's not exactly a definite science about it, but that's very hand wavy, you know, like, oh, we just uh, manipulate space time continuum and puts himself elsewhere. Sometimes Star Trek's Really goes like, whatever, here's some magic mumbo jumbo. I mean, science mumbo jumbo. I mean, real actual science. Yeah. Most mushrooms are delicious with a little butter. I know. Hard to go wrong there. Let's recycle our last bit of glasses. I think we can slam in some more uh, iron. Let's take the pickaxe to the man. Real quick, like. We'll drop that off. Let's go pick up our axe and get the pickaxe, like, better. Because I want to be able to get to the hardwood. Now, <clears throat> to cut open hardwood... Do, I, do you enjoy milk, sir? He does. Hell yes. I know exactly how to make men love me. <laughs> That's giving them milk. That sounds weird. Enjoy the milk. It's good for your bones or something. I don't know. You do get um, <clears throat> gently scolded if you don't take your breaks. Okay, that's nice. You know, they're trying to look out for you. <sighs> can, what level of axe can break hardwood, y'all? I would love to know. I'm stretching my leggings out. Oh, my hat! Trick BBS has some awesome conversations. Not track. Tiny. Position three. Position three, tiny. So that thing has awesome conversations from scientists of all types on esoteric explanations of how Trek does all these things. Oh, darn, I can't say that word. Oh, I'm sorry you had an upsetting call, Pastel. I'm glad that you're enjoying your time here, however. Yay, cover axe. Got a copper axe. Well, let's see if that'll do the, the business. Does he not want to... Come on, man. I got work for you to do. I could get that steel axe, but first let's get the copper pickaxe. <sighs> I mentioned I might just come back straight up with the steel stuff, because honestly, if I can skip to that, I'll skip to that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what level is required to 
um, crack open hardwood. Whatever it is. We'll get it. I'm sorry for the yawns, y'all. You know what the deal is. I got 30 minutes till bedtime. <coughs> and I've been working all day, yada, yada, yada. May I ask what I'm working towards? Um, I want that hardwood today. I want to be able to chop down hardwood. Um, both for the community center and for, like, building things. So, in order to make the cheese machine, I need hardwood. But I can't get that unless I'm, like, chopping down those big logs, you know? So that's what we're working towards. You have a degree in physics! And most people in the department agree that sci-fi movies and TV shows take some time to enjoy again once you learn how everything works. Oh, yes. I'm sure there's a bit of a, a process where you have to be like, that's not how space or time works. That's not what... What are you talking about? That's not what... That's what that means. You just used that word in the wrong way. I'm sure there's so many instances um, where things just... It takes you out of it rather than makes you more invested in it. We should have a yawn counter. It would be through the roof. You've been... You've been in that reset every day. I'm sure we hit the double digits for sure. Yeah, it's that precious hardwood, I tell you. Gotta get it. It's so hard to get. But I'm doing my darndest. Oh yeah, beautiful. Hey, we don't have a yawn counter, but we do have Tiny doing a cute little yawn, so. There's no sound in space, but few shows use silence during space travel scenes. Yeah, because it would be boring, right? You gotta hear like music or some whooshing or something like that. You're happy for the pretty rare but cool times where real science comes into a mainstream show. Yeah, it's always a great learning moment. I think it doesn't help that we're fishing. I think fishing would put me to sleep until a fish actually bites. Oh, the silence in space happens in, in Firefly. That's cool. I'm following you up, fishy. I know what your life is like. I know what's difficult. That's why I'm here for you, fishy. I know, exactly. It's getting me. It's trying to trap me inside Sturdy Valley forever, Pastel. Hi, PHP. Good to see you. So many great folks stopping by today. Wow, how heartwarming. It's wonderful to see you all today. PHP, I hope you enjoy some of the new emotes we have, by the way. We've got some very cute emotes uh, animated by Doe Madness. Some super cute little tiny emotes. Tiny doing their tiny little thing. His, hers, and theirs little little thing. Yeah, we can hear sound. <clears throat> I suppose because of air, right? Now again, I don't know the actual science behind it, but yeah. I think it's the atmosphere that allows us to hear. But thank goodness we can't hear stuff from, you know, out in outer space. Imagine if you'd hear all the suns exploding out there. Kind of merciful that we can't. Interesting. Sounds like Jordan says. The whole there's no sound in space thing isn't quite right. Oh, I want to interrupt that by saying that in 40 seconds, the final ad break of the night is going to run, just so you'll know. So even though the whole there's no sound in space thing isn't quite right, at least when it comes to explosions, you'd see any explosions flash in silence. Once you got hit by the shockwave, it would be loud as heck. Oh, so the distance that it takes the sound to... So the sound is out there. It's just not getting to us. Do you think eventually we're going to get hit by a loud-ass wave of sound from some star that exploded billions of years ago? Does that ever happen? I don't know. Or the shockwaves, do they dissipate by the time they get here? I'm curious about sound in space now. Give me a fish. Give me a fish. Right now. 
perfect fish. Hell yeah. Sound? Okay, it's just a vibrating medium. Gotcha. Okay, so the vibration eventually would make it. Hello, Harmless. We're talking about sound in space. How goes the water logging? I'm learning today about sound in space. I swear to God, that should have been mine. You didn't do a good job today of drinking water? Okay. Well, you're practicing this week and you're actually truly waterlogging next week, right? So it's like, okay to not do a big bang up job. Since you don't have to do the run till next week. Hell yes, you have like 30 to 40 beet sprouts. You are going to be eating so many beets. Hey, do you like eating beets? Because you're about to find out if you don't know. One got the carrot section. It happens, yeah. Sometimes, like, a little seed will stick to your finger and then you'll put it in the carrot hole. Interesting. Evolution said the air is shaking. I better turn that into a signal that can be used. Fascinating. So we developed weird holes that funnel that vibration into sound, huh? And now you can hear me on the internet. Isn't that weird? And also, we use that that vibration, we recreate it in our brain. But just the sound of it. When we think thoughts to ourselves. Wild. You decided to internalize a vibration. <sighs> Humans are wild. I'm so excited about your beet sprouts and your carrots harmless. You are on quite the journey. Also, I feel like I'm sinking into my chair. I should sit up properly. But I want to fish. Dang it. <sighs> Let me sit up properly. Oh yes, show us the beat progress. I gotta see it. Let me see it. Speaking of progress, how are we doing on this? Um... Okay, five more fish. Maybe we can catch a few in the next few minutes. <clears throat> There's a kick butt Dr. Koo audio play about the primordial sound, which is malevolent and can kill. So here is trying to confuse it with wordplay. That's fun. Oh, that's very fun. It feels also very British too. Like what? Oh, not this. I should just lose this fish. Come on now. That fish is a real bonehead. Come on, fishy. Come on, get the boat. Fish. Come on, get the boat. Fish, fish. Come on, get the boat. Fish. Get in the boat. Hey. I summoned the fish with the home server ringer reference. That fish is 30 years old minimum. I love these leaf sprouts. They're really giving me life. <sighs> All right. Maybe we should walk back. We're just getting trash. We'll walk back, sell what is this going to be like? 200 bucks a fish, which is like nothing now. We put tiny strips of metal under a voltage to be able to record air vibrations in one place so that we can make the same vibrations millions of miles away in tiny magnets that we attach to our heads. Right. So wild. Science is amazing. The sprout pictures have been posted. Heck yeah. I can't wait to see him. One of the fun segments is the British doctor and his American companion play arguing about the differences in our cultures. Cute. Oh, wow. And that must have really frustrated the malevolent, like, sound beast. Let's see, what else can I sell? Fishy, fishy. Store what we can. Oh, wait. I do need to. I'm not worried I'm actually going to sell that if I keep it on hand. Store that. I might grab this. And we have two pieces of trash I can recycle. We now have enough iron to make our next bar. So that's lovely. Oh, I mean, sorry. We now have enough iron bars to make our next item. So that is even lovelier. And let's make some sort of uh, creation here. 
Let me sell these jellies. Because I don't think I'm ready for this jelly. And, um... Let's put use what we have on hand. Make some jelly type things. I'm sure we have a billion blueberries somewhere. That's a blueberry. What a weird thing to find, right? Just a single blueberry. Blackberry jam for this one. Blueberry jam in the rest of these. There we go. Science really is amazing. And it's... it's incredible how... Um, how intriguing and even bizarre it is compared to what we can imagine, you know? As they say, sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. Over the last 3.8 billion years, cells and organisms have been multiplying and selecting randomly over the surface of this planet to the point where they developed into creatures that had the ability to look at the world around them and figure all that stuff out. Science is fantastic. You love that one of the latest Star Trek celebrated the science is fun vibe. Oh yeah. They're leaning into that more than doing like action and space aliens. Are they more like Let's get back into the science of it all. Let's lean into the science aspect of things and see what we can do here. Okay, the mushrooms are cooking. <clears throat> Sorry about my nose today, by the way. I feel like I'm really snarfly. Um, I'm hoping maybe I should bring up a, a box of tissues tomorrow so that I can blow my nose like I used to. It's a beautiful sunny damn day tomorrow, damn it. That's what I've been saying in real life too, is like, when is it gonna rain? I want it to rain so bad, so I don't have to go outside and water everything. There's that money. No, that's that jelly money. No, wait, I'm sorry, that's mostly mayonnaise money. Damn it, mayo. Making bank. Oh, I should just make a pharma call at Hellman's and literally just do mayonnaise. Let's see what tomorrow's gonna bring. Maybe it'll be Clarence on the all day, great. Excellent. Just what I need in there. Beautiful, sunny damn day. You know you're old when you look outside, it's raining, and you say, we needed this. Oh my god, I'm old. I'm so old. Even my brother started saying stuff like that, like, thank goodness it's raining. He was saying something to that effect today, and I was like, oh man, we're old, Jim. Jim, we got old fast. Not a single gold star pumpkin, are you kidding me? That's a bad sign. We really do need some gold star pumpkins. Education should be a category here on my show, you mean? <laughs> I think, I I don't know if I'd be able to live up to those standards, honestly. But there is educational stuff on Twitch. I know there are streams devoted to education. Helicorn. I'm going to pick out a lot of helicorn. There's a lot of corn. Yeah, that is true. Although, with constant rain does come problems for uh, flowers and plants. Um, environments that are too moist can uh, breed... Um, uh, mildew and like powdery mildew on certain things apple scab and things like that you can you can get a lot of diseases and different um, disorders of your plants uh, if it's raining all the time it's weird plants are just, plants are strange they are cool thanks plants I've been doing that a lot lately going outside when I'm watering the plants and being like thank you plants Thank you for being beautiful. I'm getting kind of to be a corny old lady. I know this is nothing new and you've all noticed this for a very long time. But. Um, I'm, I'm definitely while I'm watering the plants being like, thanks for being so beautiful plants. You look great today. Hey, thanks for showing up. You know? There's a lot of action in Space Aliens, but... 
This is the power of math, people, uh, says a female officer. So women in STEM, championing math, love it. Oh my god, do you talk to your plants? You're just like, good job, little sticky guys. You're making the good stuff. You know, I don't know. What do you say to your plants? Oh, yes, I bet. Yeah, I, I'm sure the cold and the wet um, really is enticing for the cruciferous vegetables, you know. I need a corn cob pipe, I think, to be fair. My uncles today were talking about um, smoking cigars. They're like, here's my cigar smoking experience. One time I had a cigar. <laughs> I was just thinking of that because I was talking about corn cob pipes, but I didn't know this. What What is the big deal about smoking cigars? Sorry, this is like so off track, so off course. But what is the appeal of a cigar? <gasps> Navi... <coughs> Navi loves me. <laughs> I'm dying now. My cat finally loves me. It took a year. Jesus. Embrace your inner corn cob. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, what do you mean? Did you just... Did you just what? To be fair. Make a pun? I'm afraid to say that you did. I can't believe my cat loves me. Thank God. Life is good. A cat loves me. I don't have, like, enough stuff to dehydrate, so I'll skip that. Hmm, man, I don't know if I want to keep recycling driftwood to get one wood every single time. It's a little tedious. But we have... A copper axe. Let me see if this will take down some of them stumps. Oh, it's on. I'm getting hardwood. Oh, you actually selected the yawn instead of the yay. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, don't worry about that. I didn't take any offense. But a boom. It's a good place to grow a tree. Yes, hardwood is a coming. Say hi to the ladies today. Don't you dare make a jailbreak for it, Bessie. Did you see her rush the door? That was wild. The cat was like, finally, my moment. I've always hated this place, and now I can leave. Yeah, can I just drop this? I might just get rid of the driftwood, honestly. Alright, Bessie. Bessie number three. Shupa. Shupa's got no milk. And who did I eat milk? Trona's got no milk. Did I? Weird. It said I didn't have enough room. Strange. <laughs> you could say that I'm stumped, indeed. <clears throat> good morning, beauties. Little cutie pot pies. Damn, I mean, I guess good afternoon. I can't believe it's already noon. Oh, you're just embarrassed? Oh, don't feel bad. I, I didn't think anything of it. Kale, blackberries, and a lot of ferns and prehistoric plants live up there. Is that so? Prehistoric plants, that's cool. What is my favorite mushroom? That's such a great question. Hmm. Favorite mushroom. I would like to try more mushrooms. I really enjoyed enoki. I think they're like long and skinny. Um, and that was really cool. I think I've mostly had, like, portabellas and baby bellas and cremini's. That kind of thing. But I want to branch out and try more shroomies. Let's organize this. Hmm. Just gotta make some egg juice. I put this in here. It only takes one coal. I'm not sure it took ten. You know what? Let me put this wood to work. It takes ten wood. Never mind. Let's put this wood away, actually. Excellent choices, right? Yeah. You can be witty with puns and jokes sometimes. That's the best part of language, isn't it? The fun, weird ways we can manipulate it to say things that we don't mean. And mean things that we don't say. 
Hmm. What to do next? I think I'm gonna be chopping down stuff. I'm gonna take my my trusty dusty axe. I do want to maybe make two more bars though before we go, cause like, oh, one pumpkin for the community thing, one pumpkin for the Lydia. I need a pumpkin. Should I save an eggplant? Do I need an eggplant? I don't need any more eggplants. Okay. Take our pumpkins to town. Maybe get the pickaxe back. You know Shidaki were very popular a few years back. Yeah. This is the vibe, right, Gish? It's so good to see you, and I'm so glad you're enjoying using those emotes. Oh, can I give a girl something? Nah. Egg juice. You know what I mean? Mayonnaise. You know, mayonnaise. Egg juice. Egg whip. I don't, I'm not bringing you through. Wait, hold up. Did that say you could keep it, though? Okay. I'll think about it. So. <gasps> it is Caroline who wants it. Okay, Caroline. As the song goes. She's mighty fine. But she's a real... Mm, mm. I hope that she doesn't uh, crash into a ditch as the song Roses goes by Outcast. Uh, it's a big one. Abigail used to be so happy. I hope you enjoy that. A lot of people call it egg juice. It's a normal thing to call mayonnaise. You know exactly. Up, you know, uh, up in my corner of the Appalachians, we call it egg juice. They filmed like a chunk of the old Jurassic Park movies in Northern California because it looks so old. Probably with the redwoods and stuff, right? It's, some of the varieties of ferns haven't changed much since dinosaurs around. That's cool. That's very cool. All right, we got our pumpkin. Yay! <coughs> Ooh, a present. Oh, wouldn't you know, it's another damn bee house. Sure, I'll take it. My old bee mom used to ask if I wanted any egg juice on my sandwich. <laughs> it gets worse the more we say it, I think. You know, sometimes I say things and I don't think of the repercussions of it. Like cowboy gravy. I didn't think about that before it came out of my- it just sort of stumbled out. Like a drunkard from the bar. And then I have to live with it for the rest of my life, you know. And that's hard. That's difficult. You all can say strange things at work to your friends and family at Thanksgiving at the dinner table. And it's not a big deal. <laughs> but mine is recorded for, for posteriority. Egg juice, cowboy gravy. They were making cowboy gravy 24-7 in Red Dead Redemption 2. Those fellas were getting together and making cowboy gravy. You remember reading The Plants That Miss the Mammoths or some sort of article like that that talked about the Osagi orange and other trees and fruits that were spread by megafauna. Is that so? That are now extinct. How about that? Good luck at work, Pastel. Thank you for being here. Oh, that was you were quick with the clip. <laughs> You're quick with the... You know, the great thing about cowboy gravy is it sticks to your brain and also sticks to your ribs. It's very filling. They're making that cowboy gravy around the campfire together. Just a few gentlemen coming together to make cowboy gravy. He's still working on the pickaxe, huh? Okay, that's tough. Sometimes when several fellas love each other very much. I need to stop saying it's because I'm making it worse. It is just about stew, okay? Don't get weirded out. I gotta get back to the cozy. I'm gonna be scaring away all the sturdy folks. Um, forget what I said <laughs> about gravy and whatnot. And back to coziness. Hello there, Miss Caroline. Pierre's trying to play it cool, but he's seething about losing to you at the Stardew Valley Fair. <laughs> Tell your husband I said hi. How about that, Caroline? You go tell him that. Mr. Sir, you want some pepper poppers? You better take this gift. Never mind. I think I just gave him milk instead. You can try to find it again? That sounds really cool. I would love it if you could find that, Ryan. We're not weird at all? No, no, not at all. 
Not strange at all. <clears throat> darn this darn cough. I promise you I'll, I'll have my tissues up here tomorrow. If I don't, I will take a break to get tissues tomorrow. I'll go all the way to the dang basement, come back huffing and puffing just to get the tissues. Oh, thank goodness I got a really good axe now. Maybe not the best axe, but it's pretty good. Hey, I wonder if I could um break that log that's uh There's like a log instead of in, in front of the forest area. Maybe we can go break that. What about this big boy? Nah, not this big boy. Okay. <clears throat> but this boy I can. Maybe with the silver axe I can break that log. Maybe about, hold on. Maybe about three years ago, you saw me play Red Dead Redemption 2. That was a ton of fun. It was a cool game, I gotta tell you. Stressful bow, I tell you. Those freaking cops in that game can bite my shorts. The way that like the Pinkertons or whatever would come find you all the time. Obnoxious. They needed to get a real job, those Pinkertons. I'll take a break to get to Houston. Yeah, I'll go visit my uncle down there. Houston. Why not? <clears> hmm. <throat> Caught on something. Ah, <sighs> boy. We need to have an animal empire. I'm seeing the future. I know I really... That game was on thin ice. It's, it was on the thinnest ice. I tell you, that was a real tough time. Getting spotted by the cops like every two seconds. That really almost got me out of that game. But the narrative brought me back in, so. Man, I really do think... Look at all this good grassland we have. Look at this. Look at this land. This is ours. You have some goats right here. I'm going to put the ducks over here on this pond. We're going to get ducks and we're going to put them over here. I'm just going to have a huge sprawling farm. Maybe some pigs over here. This is the pig corner. Look at this good ass grass that they love to eat. All this land is ours. <clears throat> well, I can't quite see the future, but I have plans. I have very... Strong plans for the future. You know, I feel like you have to predict the future for yourself if you want to get anywhere in life. You have to be like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm promising myself that. In that way, you can see the future. We have a ridiculous amount of land. It's kind of outrageous. The galaxy, good to see you. I hope you're well. I love this mushroom tree. It means so much to me. this beautiful place and then I've got my wait didn't grandpa didn't, isn't there a place where grandpa's got his like shrine or whatever his death shrine pretty sure there's a little house that grandpa's ghost shows up at at some point a little shrine to his dead body or something I don't know I'm glad to hear that galaxy geek any fun like lego news you want to share with us today I'm trying to collect a bunch of hardwood so I can make some stuff. I'm actually, I think I might have enough to make the cheese press. I need the wood, uh, the stone, and a copper bar. So I'm going to go grab all that stuff and start making cheese overnight. <sighs> My empire has only just begun. Okay. Maybe still have some copper in here in case I don't have a copper bar. I'm pretty sure I have some copper. Ooh, it's looking like I don't. Ha. Okay, let me sell some jellies as well. Pickles. Don't quite really need those. Let's sell some jellies and pickles and whatnot. Making room for 
for bigger, better things. I do love a good jelly, but we're going to have to say goodbye to it. <clears throat> okay. Seriously, do I have copper in here? I don't have any of it. None of it? Not a one of it? Wow. But I do have stone. But, um, I'm gonna- Whoop! Oh wait, there's my copper. Okay. I'm gonna need to go to the mines and, uh, get copper. Bye, good jelly. It was good jelly for sure. I have an cheese press. I'm gonna put it with the cows, I think. I might even pick up our egg machines and put it with the eggs. Don't drive myself nuts later on down the line. Well, let's put the uh, cheese-o machine over here. Okay, that's good for me. Okay, sheep time. <sighs> yeah. Oh my god, it is 9 o'clock in the real life! Oh my god! Wow. Good eye, just a game hero. I didn't even notice. <gasps> somebody made a Stardew Valley. Somebody linked this in the Discord. Um, somebody at like a PAX or something made a huge like Stardew Valley map. Um, they made every building uh, in Stardew Valley. It was really impressive. Uh, it was. It was. I watched it without sound, so maybe they talked about how they made it or something like that. But it was super cool. Ravaging Marvel, thank you for the 95 stream sneak sneaking that in there before the show ended. Appreciate it. It is unfortunately time for me to go to bed, y'all. I've been taking it really easy this week. I'm very proud of myself. Aside from that one day where I pushed her lawnmower all the way to the repair shop and then back. I was not taking it easy. But, you know, sometimes you have to push your limits to know them, and I'm getting better at that. So, it's time for me to leave Stardew Valley and leave you all, um, but return tomorrow for some Final Fantasy XIV. We're going to be doing Hide and Seek at Radzid Han. I think we're going to be heading to, like, the shopping district and the restaurant. I, we can't do all of Radzid Han because... I unfortunately get queasy during the hide and seek stuff because I'm turning around a lot and sometimes having to go first person a lot. So uh, we have to kind of make it a limited area. So you will all dress up like folks who live at Rad's at Han in Final Fantasy XIV. And you can hide in various places and I will try to find you. Now, I will say, I will not know it's you if you dye your your hair or you Fantasia into a lava fell or something, okay? I seriously won't know it's you. Um, but that doesn't stop you from doing it. You could still do it. <laughs> I don't I don't mind. I just just so you know you will win. Um Thank you for streaming. Oh my gosh, Harmless Hitler, thank you for being able to make it today. I always appreciate you having you here. And yeah, the queasiness. There's not much I can do about it. 